What's up, players? It's the Dr. Green Thumb Show right here on Be Real TV, YouTube, and Twitch. What's good? I'm Dr. Green Thumb. Hello. Smoked out of my fucking mind right now because we had a head start before we even started the show. Because we did bring the smoke box back. Yep. Uh, we did one today. I'm not going to tell you who the fuck it was because then it's just going to blow the surprise. But <sighs> <laughs> you kind of know already. Yeah, you. some of you know. Some of you don't know, but some of you know. Yeah, I don't even know. It was a fucking box session. Uh, nonetheless, to my right, as always, Mr. Well Lit, the lit one, C minus. What's up, dog? What up, everyone? Chilling. And the legendary psychotic one, Psycho Less, beat nuts salute, in the salute, house. Salute, cheers. How you doing? We got Colton and Bra Bra Smoke. and the Dominator up in um, the treehouse in the, in the sniper tower. What's Brack and Blood? Oh, you know, just being boo right here. You know what I'm saying? I knew you would appreciate this drip right here. You know what I'm saying? I was going to say, me, you, and the guests will get along today. Oh, man, we doing it. <laughs> we doing it <laughs> like we supposed to. <laughs> uh, and and speaking of our guests, man, in the house right here, the Dr. Green Thumb po- the Dr. Green Thumb show, my man Cap G up in here. Yes, sir. What are you doing, man? Yeah. Smoke. That's right. And uh, you know, we got Malparido. What's up, everybody? He's on. I was in that smoke box too. You were in that. I could see it on your face. You're wearing <laughs> yeah. it. You're wearing that shit. Yep. I mean, fuck, dude. It, it was a lot of smoke. Let me tell you something, my doing that smoke box or or a smoke box like we did today, man. You leave with a film on your face from all that fucking smoke. The resin is just crazy. Yeah, this is like you feel like you need to wash your face. It was that much smoke. <laughs> yeah, I felt good and I felt bad. Yeah, I felt good because <laughs> I mean, you know, when I smoke, I feel good. I felt bad because you know <laughs> the homie was going through things, trying to get through through that big ass Titan joint we rolled up for you know for all of us. We we smoked some big dogs up in there, but uh, y'all will see it. They are uh, coming out in April, and so um, there it is. That's just gonna be crazy. Word up, Cap man. Hey, it's good to have you up in here. Appreciate you, man. I'm happy to be here, my dog. Word up, man. Hey, you've been getting hit up for a lot of features by <laughs> goddamn near everybody. Yeah, yeah, man. How, how, does, how, does it, how does it feel to be like you don't sought out like that? Man, it feels good because, shit, I put that work in, you know what I mean? Uh, definitely wasn't easy, and shit, I'm here today. They fucking with me. It just let you know that everybody fucking with you, to be honest, the people. Yeah. Yes, sir. Real talk. I mean, like, when when you make that that class with the source, man, that shit is everything. Like it it all depends on what you like put behind that to to elevate you to the next level. When they put that stamp, are oh, you talking about? Oh uh, yeah, double XL. Yeah, or oh, the double yeah, XL. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Um, when that shit came out, yeah, that it's like it was up to you just to like get it right. and fucking roll with it. And like, I mean, not for nothing, man. You've been fucking killing the game. Appreciate that, dog. Um, uh, even that, yeah, I remember getting that news. Shit, that son, uh, I've been thinking about it since. I was, I know I was on the 2017, and I've been, I remember the one with Schoolboy Q. I just remember Schoolboy Q was on there, man. And that one, I remember just being in the room, fucking goddamn just grinding, bro. I'm like, I'm gonna be on here one day. And <laughs> I remember when I got that news, that shit was surreal, man. It was well, surreal. Well, shit, man, you know, you could tell in the bar work and, and just, the whole fl- your your flip styles and shit like that right. that like you definitely deserve to be there right like right. the skill set is there and then uh, just 
you know, it's where you take it from there, man. Nah, and, for sure. And you've been doing it. Shit, because realistically, that, that, you know what gives you the crazy stamp after that? It's like, okay, that's a stamp by Double XL, but it's when motherfuckers start coming at you for those features. Like, hey, right. man, you get down with me on this shit. Right. And that's true. Because that's everything. Nah, that's true. Because they appreciate the skill set if they get down with you. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, and yeah. and I know you're doing something with Jay Balvin, right? Yeah, I got some new shit with Jay Balvin dropping like next month. That's yeah, gonna be yeah, crazy. Crazy. I brought him to my world. That shit gonna be crazy. I can't wait. You brought him to your world. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. So y'all film that in ATL? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's a, he, that's a reggaeton artist, right? Yeah. 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 So I mean, reggaeton nowadays they using all the trap beats. Yeah. That's now, true. That's the new shit now. They're nah, not that's really true. doing the. Yeah, they're doing the yeah. Hey, no, I've heard a lot of that shit. You know what I mean? Um, where 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 they've done that flip, where it's like trappish style shit, but with with the reggaeton, reggaeton right. on like vibe on top of that shit, yeah. and some of it is just fucking fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When they hear regular rap shit, they be like dead, cause it's like yeah, you know, it doesn't have the fucking ump that that shit <laughs> yeah. got. It's it's a whole different style. It's it, crazy, it's man. It's its own genre. It's called trapeton. Yeah, trapeton. There you go. Mm. I was searching for the word, and it came out of the air into you. <laughs> right on, that's, that's trapeton. Yeah, it's it's fucking hard though. Like there's, I've I've heard a lot of a lot of good joints like that. Mm-hmm. You, we just we don't hear it on our radio. They ain't yeah. ain't playing that shit here. But unless you're in New York and shit, there's like a gang of Puerto Ricans out there. Yeah. 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 Or, or Spanish sure. countries and shit, yeah. you know. You know, see, because that's the thing though with mix shows, right? Most most of the time you're gonna hear them on the mix shows, really, as as opposed to rotation. Yep. And it de- it just depends on the flavor of the DJ, yeah. right? In New York, it's a different flavor. They use that Caribbean influence and all the other shit, okay. whereas out here we use something totally different. It's more like funk based or or what what would you say? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a it's a trip. It's like because w- w- over here, like what gets played on the radio, whether it's underground club or anything, it's definitely popping on the streets first. And it's usually yeah, like sometimes like funk based, like or yeah. just like you know, electronic something, based. Something too. makes you bounce. It has it's just to have it's that. it's a different vibe. Like yeah. you won't hear like a lot of that that Caribbean flip it, depending on the DJ down here. Yeah, you know what I mean, so like the, having that sort of mashup. Yeah. yeah, it it mm-hmm. comes from back east first, and then it comes down here. Yeah, that's so, crazy. Yeah, but, but you know that that's that's pioneering shit, though. You know when when you can influence styles like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And to watch the evolution of it too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, it keeps going. It keeps you know it goes from one place to another with ease. You know, and everyone goes along too. True. Is we legal in ATL? Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, no. Nah, nah, Not no. yet. Nah. No. There's a lot of weed heads out there though. Yeah, yeah. That's they shit. Cause Trap Atlanta shit. Yeah. Everybody smoke weed out there. Yep. Trap Atlanta shit. Trap Atlanta. Is it fucked up though if you get caught with it? Or is it like, just like whatever? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's fucked up if you get caught with it. Um, oh, don't play out there. Yeah, they don't yeah play. no, they don't fuck around. It's the South. Play. Shit, uh I think they made a new law though, but um I think that's like just only in Atlanta. But like when you go out of Atlanta, like they don't, they don't care if you got a roach in your car, they're gonna lock you up. Yeah, in Georgia, it's yeah, it's like the state playing. as a whole, they don't play. It's like w- yeah. one of those southern states like Florida that's zero tolerance. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but there is a cannabis culture there that is like um like heavy in the activism. Like they've been throwing cannabis rallies there since the nineties. I remember Crazy. us going and, and and playing some of these rallies. I remember one of the first ones that we played. <laughs> A cannabis rally was in Atlanta, right? And the stage that we was on, it was on a flatbed. They had us fucking rocking on a flatbed, turntables up there. But there was like, you know, a few thousand people out there. You know, it's just that like the motherfuckers that call shots down there, they're all old. Old school mm-hmm. motherfuckers, you know, like the real shot callers down there. They're all with that old school mentality till those... Motherfuckers get washed and the the new you know, the new way of thinking comes in and they get those seats. You'll see it flip. They'll legalize cause they would make a lot of money on cannabis over there. Do in, all the boomers yeah. die? In Georgia. Oh, for sure. 
I didn't say all the boomers die. No, I <laughs> said all the boomers are gone. I said when all the yes, all the old fucks in power that think in those old ways that they can't evolve to this new shit and realize what would be good for the people there and and all that shit and what cannabis can bring to the state. Yeah, we've seen it here directly, you know, and in other states that have seen the legalization, they've seen it too. ATL would fucking thrive in a different way because they get plenty of tourism jumping off down there, and. Most tourists want to go buy some weed. Yeah, definitely. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because if you know if you're not drinking, you know, and that's your way to you know you go out of town anywhere, you're like, oh man, first thing you want, I want to smoke a joint. Yeah, yeah. I think settle they, in and smoke a joint. See, the powers that be underestimate how just how many people partake in fucking smoking weed, whether it's a little bit or a lot. Yep, they just don't know. And they don't. They didn't want to know for a long time. Now they might want to know because one of the parties is is about to invest a whole lot of money into cannabis and and the legalization of it. Yeah. You think that's what you think that's why the moonshine culture is so big in uh, in in Georgia, bro? Because like out there, like they'd be like, it's I, I moonshine. Saw, yeah, I saw this fucking show, bro. And it was like, and I'm like, what the fuck? There's like a whole episode on like uh, yeah. people that that make moonshine, moonshiners, and that yeah. shit is all either I think it was Kentucky or fucking ATL. But and I, I, it might be Georgia though. Yeah, Georgia. Like Georgia. Yeah. Oh yeah, well Georgia. Country as hell, but Atlanta. I don't know. I ain't know nothing about Atlanta, but. Georgia country is hell though the state. Yeah. Oh yeah. Georgia, yeah. These motherfuckers right here are making uncle. that moonshine. <laughs> Bolton's nah, there's, uncle. There's there's a yeah, lot. Yeah, I think that's the state of Georgia. That's I don't the think state that's of Georgia. Atlanta though. Yeah, that's okay. not Atlanta. No. Well, I mean that the, the the dudes that made it would go out there and like some of them would sell like a pre made cocktail Damn. and then they'll go to ATL and sell that shit. Damn, that's, like, that's crazy. I, I didn't know yeah. that. Hey, in Kentucky, there's a big moonshine culture down right. there. Yeah. They like they they more too, right? They still rock the shine heavy. They say uh moonshine. Fuck you up, right? You can go oh, yeah, yeah. I never had none. Oh, yeah. Oh, we, got <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> we got some. We got some. No, I'm, I'm dead ass for real. Yeah, <laughs> we got, I try I, that shit. I, I always keep some handy somewhere because you never know, right? Because, you know, like when we were have, uh, touring heavily some years back, we had a bus driver that was locked in in pretty much every state because he drove everybody. Yeah. He drove us when, when you know, we were out, but, like, he drove many fucking big artists, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. he, he would have, he would make connections in every state with the shit that somebody might want to get. So, like, if you know you're going through one of the shine states, you might be inclined to ask someone, like, hey, man, where, where can I get some of that shine? <laughs> That's great. And our driver knew the fucking guy, so, like, He'd go get us cases. We'd come back with like three cases of the um of the fucking um the apple moonshine mm -hmm. where it's it's flavored with apples and shit like right. that. But it's fucking that that shit, right? Yeah, and then the white uh lightning moonshine, which is not flavored. It's it's like in the original form. It's clear as fuck mm -hmm. and it tastes crazy. And <laughs> we would get like, you know, three crates of each throw them in the freezer because they just stay cold they don't freeze like real shine it stays liquided you know if it yeah. freezes at all there's too much sugar and that ain't real it's the real one <laughs> but uh yeah i mean i still got i still got like three that, four that, jars yeah, at that shit, home that shit is so strong if you got a toothache take it away put some moonshine in that bitch and just <laughs> just you take know. away the pain it, yeah. it almost tastes like nothing dude. magic carpet yeah, see so if we have the shine <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> it tastes like gas. Bring this Gasoline. moonshine. It doesn't smell like it, though. Gas smells good. No, no, no. Hey, listen, you could make cocktails with this moonshine, for sure. I mean, any moonshine that you make, it's it's like over 100% alcohol. So fucking, yeah. you know, you could light the fucking party up, so to speak, with some shit like that. Easy. Right. Yeah. You want to burn some shit up? <laughs> Moonshine, yeah, or Everclear. I mean, that shit is fucking crazy too. We got that too. Oh, you said Everclear. Yeah, we got that in here you too. Put me some on. Whiskey, what is Everclear? No, nah, oh, oh, dude, no, nah, oh, that shit is it's, it's, it's that's, not good, bro. It's it's it's. it's <laughs> I wouldn't advise doing it's, that. It's it's rocket fuel for people. Do some whiskey. Sheesh. Like if you want to like not know what you did, <laughs> right? If you want to totally like forget, you want to get there and then forget about it. Yeah, that's the shit people yeah, like. One time, bro, when I was I went to I remember it was like a couple years ago, I went to the strip club after the comedy the comedy store, right? And then there was this chick, 
And, you know, she, I thought she was lit. You know, I was like, cool, I'm going to go get this dance. You know, I get the dance. And I'm like, yo, this bitch is falling asleep. What the fuck's going on with her, right? Yo, this bitch knocked out, dude. Like, she fucking knocked out. And I was like, yo, let me get this bitch off of me. And then I went to go, yeah, then, then I went to go tell the bouncer. And I was just like, yo, like, I don't know what's up with the homegirl right there. But, like, she just fucking fell asleep. Huh. And then dude went to go check her locker, fucking pill prescription, and fucking Everclear. I was like, oh, shit. So she was Dude. fucking popping like bars and fucking drinking Everclear. Dude. But that shit will fuck you up. I mean, I, I, at first I thought she was just lit, but I'm like, damn. Was I there that night? Was it? I think you might have. It's one of, it would like, like you came floor. with us a few times. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to drink Everclear. It's not made it's, for lit. Like, you'd rather drink some <laughs> expensive shit, bro, like some age shit. Like, I, I'll tell you what, man. Um... It'll make you go crazy. It's that alcohol that will affect you in such a way. It'll bring that inner beast out of you, it, and, and you will for, and you will forget, <laughs> and, you, and then you will regret that you forgot I, because the shit you did. People are gonna tell you about it, man. <laughs> I mean, Bushwick Bill, oof. rest in peace, my dude. Yeah, I mean, he had he had a battle with the Everclear once, and and it didn't turn out good for my bro, but no, he lived. Yes, but yeah, that is not. It's not something we we. It's like a bottle somebody gifted us a while back mm. that we ain't never tapped. Yeah. Shut oh, is that what that's in there? Yeah. Somebody gave it to us. Was like no, 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 no. Fuck that <laughs> yeah. shit. That's I'll drink the moonshine all day. That shit. No. Nah. Some other shit. Man, yeah. that's it, beyond. There was yeah. there was a tour that I was on, and we had, our bus driver had uh, access to moonshine as well. And so every, you know, everyone was doing little sips of it, doing little shots of it, and you know, and this one dude who was one of the one of the bands that was on the road, he did two shots of it, and because of those two shots, he decided it was a good idea to beer bong a Guinness. Yeah, no. And it he was not good. It, he was he was not good. At, no. At, almost immediately after that, <laughs> dude, he he beer bonged. A Guinness. Damn. That's, I'd never seen that in my life. And I don't know if I ever will again. Yeah, no, man. That's not a good idea. That's a thick-ass beer to be trying to beer bong. You will fuck around and pass out. Dude, he, after two shots, he was like, I could do it. See, that's the thing that that alcohol will do. It'll fucking put you in the mind frame that you could do shit. And you probably could, but, like, <laughs> is it good for you? No. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could probably totally beer bong that Guinness, man, but it's going to fuck you up Whoa. in a different you, way. Yep. You take mushrooms out? I did it one time recently. Yeah? For the first time ever? That shit was amazing. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> nice. What happened? Shit, I just, I don't know. It's like I had a third eye, bro. Like, everything. like You did. Yeah. Started questioning foods. You're like, man, I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's nah, true. I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't I wasn't doing that. But I was in the studio, bro, and like I was listening to this beat, bro. Took you to another place, right? Took me to another place. A million thoughts running through my head. I couldn't even start with one line. Just so many goddamn emotions. I ain't know how to stop it. I just couldn't I just had a vibe. I didn't even write nothing that day. How much did you eat? A lot. Cause I'm I'm the type that like I want to get straight there, so like, boom! I take the mushrooms, it ain't got me there yet, and I just keep going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we so, we all been through that so, shit. And, so when that motherfucker get me there, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, and it's, I keep eating, and that shit just I I was on another level, bro, for sure. <laughs> Did you make yeah. music though? I didn't make music. That's what I'm saying. You don't, I, yeah, I, it, maybe it, I took too many. You know what it is, is 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 you gotta be in, in the zone before it happens. Yeah. Right? Like you're if you're in the setting, I right. think. You know, like if you take if you take the mushrooms when you're in the studio, right, and you're supposed to be creative that day, like you know, some people write in the song uh, uh, in the studio, they write the song in the studio. Some will write it outside, depending mm -hmm. where they're at, right? Right. But I think when you take mushrooms when you're in the studio and you're about to do that shit, it does something different. Yeah. It, like, cause it could affect you in the way that like, nah, I just want to chill. Or it could take you to a different place where you're like, right. it enhances whatever in the moment. Right. 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 So you could either write the song this fast and, and 
you know, be really creative with it. Or you got to shut down and enjoy the colors and the lights yeah. in the fucking studio. You know what you know, I'm saying? You know what it could have been, too, though? Like, I was writing something sentimental. Like, it was like a beat that, like, it just right. gave me that type of vibe. Like, oh, this some, like, real shit right here. I got to write about just some shit that's, like, got to do with me. I don't know. And I was just thinking about so many feelings, bro. I couldn't get there, man. If it would have been some turnt shit, it would have yeah. been easy probably. But I think, what's this? That's tequila right there. The we didn't have the shine. The shine been uh, taken all up, but you know, IG. yeah, it, it you know the 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 mushrooms could put you in a different place for yeah. sure. I did it only once though, and I fucked it with it. I liked it. It was cool. Yeah, it, got me. it, it, it took me. It definitely had the third eye. Yeah, that micro dosing would be good. You know what I mean? That means like you know taking the dosage where it's like just before the psychedelic shit happens. Right. It's like right. you take a little bit of time. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Build tolerance. Definitely with psychedelic too. Is that the only psychedelic you've done? You know, yeah. Like, you haven't tried acid uh, or anything like that? Nah. That's I ain't gonna lie. Scary, uh, huh? Yeah, I, I I be more on the uh, tequila, to be honest. <laughs> He's there like, you go. Let, hey, cheers to that. But hey. you know, maybe Salute this could have been it too, though. I uh, I was on the Adderall when I did it, though, too. Word up. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. You so were doubling up. up. Yeah. You were on Focus Mushroom. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Cheers, Cap. Appreciate it. Cheers. Ooh. Yes, sir. Nah, mushrooms is a... It, you know, it could make you understand things, or let me Wait. say it properly, they could make you understand things that you ain't never seen before. Like, it, the things that you see every day, you see in it a Very different true. light. Very true. Yeah. Have you ever did acid, bro? No, nah, I'm actually scared, bro. Oh, well, you know what? No, I, not not purposely. Like, I'm not not to the point where I'm gonna I'm gonna um, you know take a like take a trip and go on this journey. When I was younger, I was at a rave and then I got dosed with some acid. Oh shit! <clears throat> and mm, then yeah. I I had a I did have a trippy experience. I, I I've said this story before, but I thought I had turned into a bird because I thought I had feathers, bro. So I just kept going. Oh, like you this. got the you got that. <laughs> like I was shit. flapping my fucking like hands and like I was there <laughs> luckily with a coworker and then. They were able to take care of me. Yeah. It didn't last that long, though. <laughs> oh, man, I wish yeah. I would have seen that shit. And then, I, I don't know, I just, I'm more on the mushroom side. I take mushrooms every day with the microdose. Damn. So, like, I took some crazy. this morning. Acid, you know, acid's... Took some at night. Acid's crazy. That's a commitment, yeah. though, bro. Like, I mean, yeah. It, it, because what it does different, right, than, than, than mushrooms, and I know because I did them, <laughs> <laughs> um, is that because of the strychnine in, in, in acid, that little small dose, you're fucking way more tense. It's like you're fucking on for the ride and you're holding on, unlike mushrooms where you ease back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you have a totally different feeling the next day in comparison. Yeah. Like you feel like you've been through a goddamn workout after acid the next day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, With mushrooms, you just feel like a little spent, but not... Right. Not in the same way. Yeah, it's like totally you're relaxed. Nah, for sure. If you yeah. did too much, you might have a little mushroom hangover, but that's I mean that's not so bad. Ketamine's nah. a psychedelic too. I did that recently. That was oh that was yeah. kind of a bit too much. Yeah, <laughs> but they say there. they say not to drink though when you take shrooms, right? You listen. Matter. I tell you what, man. Um, when you drink mushrooms, I mean, when you take mushrooms or or, or acid, drinking. Anything or even smoking weed is nothing. Like you, you, you don't even feel it. Yeah. it. You might as well not do it, cause like you're not feeling anything. The acid got your mind wrapped, and it's way more powerful than this or the fucking drink. So you could drink a ton. It's not good for you though. So like, imagine this whole bottle. You could probably wipe out yourself. Just do shots, but your liver is taking it. Your mind and your your shit while you're on the acid or the mushrooms, you know, it's making you think, fuck, I could take that. I'm going to just drink more. Godfather. And you will. Nah, it's I, not going to be good for you the next day at all, yeah. but you can do it. It's, it's you know. I'm, I'm easy with the tequila, B. Yeah, yeah I, me I, too. I, yeah, like, too many incidents. I don't want to have I'm no alcohol any, around no. me. It, and, 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 you know, I'll smoke just for the taste at that point because really I know on the mushrooms, I'm not going to feel the high. I stick to There's what, no way. You got to respect it. Yeah, to what I like. I stick to <laughs> what, exactly what I like, man, because I know I can handle the dark liquors. You know what I mean? I prefer the whiskey yeah. and the cognac. But anything dark, 
cool, I can hang. Mm-hmm. Once I start fucking with the clears and like, yeah, I, yeah I'll, I'll go ahead and do in, one or two signature voices. cocktails on there, but like, that's it, bro. I can't keep doing it. There's too many incidents, like you said. Uh, hey, that it, shit where I and lose really, control. it's in reverse. The better shit for you is the clear because yeah. yeah, there's less, yeah, there's less yeah, sugar in it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but right. you know, it's like it's, it's like a like a fucking sports team. You know, they thrive under certain conditions. You know, like be like, that's yeah, home turf. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> My, my my liver. Knows. I need dark liquor to yeah. thrive. I can't do the clear. <laughs> my liver's like, yo, I know this dark shit's coming through. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. Oof. I used to drink. You a dark dark us. liquor guy? Oh, no, sorry. Dark? I'm a, that's what I was gonna say. I'm a little reverse. Oh, okay. When I'm on the dark, I, I wanna. I be doing too much. Yep. I be doing. That's too what much. I'm saying. Anybody do any wrong thing to me, hey. like <laughs> start It's not them. my character. Like I just wanna slap the shit. Whatever. See? Like hey. I'm a tequila guy. I got tequila shit. I'm romantic. <laughs> Mama Cedar. There you go. See? I like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I can 1,000 agree with that because I was just talking about that shit the other day with like whiskey, Jack Daniel, dark liquor. That's how I used to be in the club. Like I wasn't even enjoying myself right. with the homies and, and, you know, the girls we was with or whatever. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm like more waiting for the motherfucker to step on my shoes or bump me. Uh, you're, wow. You were the you know, I wish he would type I was the wish he would. Mother- <laughs> I wish you would bump me right, right now, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I was lit off that dark shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On tequila, I'd have a good time. I'd be no like way. in the moment, not like waiting for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's that Jack Devil, boy. That, Wait, what? that, that shit was doesn't Hennessy. affect me like that. I just start fucking having, doing fun things. Uh, well, you're boy, more that, peaceful yeah, than yeah. I was at that time. <laughs> I was not a very peaceful man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I am yeah. now. But back then, not so much. I was looking for it. Yeah, if you're a crazy motherfucker, stay off that whiskey. Bro. Yes, stay Ooh. off the fucking whiskey. I tell <laughs> you that shit for real. I Because you, know, cause you will just wait for an excuse to do sh- some shit to right. somebody. Yeah. I mean, you could be a peaceful motherfucker and and, and drink too much of that too and much. be like, and <sighs> I wish you would come over here. <laughs> I wish you would come over here, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that's how I used to get with Hennessy. That's a dark liquor. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Hennessy. Yeah, Henny was liquid courage to me. Like that was the moment. Like I remember I was hanging out with yeah. with, with uh, Chalk, Mr. Chalk. We were at a club and then he was like, "Yeah, he was doing Henny," and he was like, "Yeah, you want a shot?" I was like, "Yeah, fuck it, I'll get a shot." <laughs> And I did a little sip, and then I was just like, I was in it, like, I was like, kind of noticed my mood go from like being cool to like, hey, fuck that dude over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? and, I was like, and I knew that was out of my character. I was like, yeah. hey, man. Hey, listen, most fights that happen in the club oh, yeah. is because of a chick and too much Henny in the system, or a combination <laughs> of both Oof. of them. I, I have too much Henny, and you're looking at my chick the wrong way. Yeah, know what I'm saying, and that's just enough excuse for me to act up. (laughs) 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 Or you stepped on my kicks. Yeah, bumped into you, and you're like, "Yo, yeah, Yeah. no, man." Hey, listen. Sometimes though, man, like you, you know, like certain things, like I'm not gonna fight you over over stepping on my kicks. I'm like, fool, you came to a club. Yeah, people fucking (laughs) dance here. That's like me getting mad because I took my shoes to fucking Disneyland. Yeah, people said those are cool shoes. But they're not going to look fresh afterwards, dog. Hey, hey I don't want to interrupt <laughs> you, but I want to just say big up to my man, Maceo yeah. De La Soul. He's watching from our Twitch ward oh, over what there. What up, Maceo? You know what I'm saying? What do? Much respect to the legend. Yes. What up, Maceo? Hey. You know, brief history lesson. He put me on to live streaming. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When, I, okay. when I started Be Real TV, it was through Stickam. But like before I even knew what the fuck Stickam was... My man Maceo was doing his streams on Ustream. Yeah. And wow. it was him and Freddie Fox, Bumpy Knuckles, um, and someone else doing uh, DJ DJ sets from his crib. But it was set up cool, you know what I mean? And they were hosting it just like a radio show. I was like, that's pretty tight. And it, it sparked me. Because this is after Bobo and I get off a of radio. We fucking quit the beat. And, you know, some years passed and we're like, fuck, what can we do? Like, what's the next platform? Right. We didn't want to be on radio again because we knew the politics, right. you know. Yeah. It would I be wasn't a, fucking with it. Yeah, it, it, would, it would be a bad thing to, to, to go back to radio. Right. I, you know what I mean? So we said, fuck it. Let's, let's try what Maceo's doing. And Kenji had the fucking relationship with Stickam at the time, right? And... They were like the biggest streaming platforms. That's how we birthed Be Real TV, and then we ended up here. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? That's 
That was it. So salute to Maceo, man. It, hey, hey, what year was that when uh, y'all did a U stream? Um, it was uh, fuck it. I think the first one, the first stream we did was a Cypress Hill show in 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 the Bay. It was at the the Fillmore. I think it was two thousand eight. Jeez. Or some shit like that. Crazy. 2009, 2008. And we got enough numbers on that stream to make me take it serious because we didn't even fucking promote it. It wasn't yeah. like something that you stream knew was happening. I just created this little shitty account. Right. And put a, a, a fucked up little camera <laughs> in the front of the stage. There was no setup. Crazy. I just put the camera there with the wide angle lens and they saw that for an hour. Right, it's crazy. But it got views, and we were like, "Oh shit, maybe there's something to this." Mm. And uh, that's when Kenji brought in the Stick M relationship, and we put the Be Real TV shit together here. And uh, you know, but that was all based off of what you know Maceo sent me. Like, "Hey man, check this out. That's Boom, nice. this is what I'm doing." So um, I- I've always wanted him to bring his stream to our shit. Oh man, he's the that would have been crazy. He's the best, man. So you know, salute, salutations, salutary, DJ Maceo, innovator, one of the one of the best human beings. Just the coolest motherfucker to talk music and anything with, man. And dude. And let me tell you what. And he's a pothead. Yeah, and he's a weed. And we love to smoke weed. And look, if that was not the real Maceo, we stand on all this shit we just said because he's really the homie and that's all real spit right man, there. You know what I'm saying? Salute. Yes. And look, we were just talking about De La Soul yesterday. Like yeah. with the verses get down. We were we were talking about um Cap. We were talking about uh who would be a, a, a good match for um who was it? It was um was it Tribe Called Quest? Yeah. It was Tribe mm-hmm. Called Quest and fucking De La Soul. We thought yeah. that would be a dope match mm-hmm. for a versus. Nah, that would be dope. That would that would be dope, sure. I thought. Because it matches up real nice. Yeah, it matches up, right. Wh- which which would, which one has uh, has been your favorite versus? Shit, I'm from the A. Jeezy and Gucci. Jeezy oh, and Gucci. That was, hey, that was crazy. We were talking about that too that the other day. crazy, bro. That shit was dope, but uncomfortably dope. Right, right. It was right. like Joe Rogan in the smoke box. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Dude. Uh, I, was just... <laughs> I mean, you know, he was having a good time, but he was a little uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Yo. It was that's what it was yeah. like watching watching that shit, because it's like you know the history. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and it's deep history, but like, I mean, they both killed it. That shit was awesome. Mm-hmm. Who did who do you think who well, do you I, think got I the think, win? The dub. Uh shit. <clears throat> Shit, I think they both got the dub for the home team. Yes, honest. they did. Yeah, they both did. That's right. Salute to both of them. Like for putting on that kind of show yeah. and 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 squashing their shit and being like, you know, businessmen and gentlemen and like, you know, just putting all that bullshit behind them. That shit was awesome. I think people love that part at the end. Like after all the shit, they did the song together. That was yeah. pretty dope. Yeah, that's my favorite one. What's your favorite? Would you ever do a verse? Would yeah, you? they you know they constantly ask us like who and and like the 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 three names that that come to me every time in terms of like <laughs> being the right match. You right, know, like right. what would be really dope is us versus Cube, us versus Wu Tang, or versus Onyx. Mm. Maybe even the Beastie Boys, but you know that that would never be possible. Happen, Rest know. in peace, MCA. Um, okay. Something like that. But like one of, one of my favorites. Um, fuck, it's hard because there's been a couple of good ones. The Locks versus Dipset. That was Ooh. that was ice cold right there. Yeah, that, that was ice cold. That yeah. was because I'm, I'm I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm a big Dipset fan and Locks. They 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 brought it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, the three six and Bone. That was fucking dope. <laughs> Funny as fuck. Too. Funny as hell. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna have you ugly motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was a classic line right there. Yeah, he said, Suck my dick, run my shit. <laughs> I was like, that shit was that shit was never <laughs> <ugly motherfucker. laughs> <laughs> now, now a lot of people's talking about his response to that though. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he, dick. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 the, yeah. That shit was hilarious. Dick too. It's funny too. Right. Hey, <laughs> no, that was hilarious. The whole fucking thing was awesome. You just what what y'all on think stage. about Yo, um, on that versus? Cause you know, Juicy J, he still putting out shit. Oh you know? yeah, he's yeah. Cause I know at the end, like, or uh, uh, in the verses, he was putting out his his new shit. Yeah. You I think, mean, cause you he's, think that shit, or that that just see what it is. Like, cause he it's stays, a part of it. He stays active. Mm -hmm. Like right. he don't fuck around and rest. Like he stays That's what I'm active. Saying. DJ yeah. Paul and I and I fucks with Juicy J, man. He he like he's always been one of my favorites. Like his right. pocket, the way he spits. Like yeah, yeah. You know, even his nasty shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what. <laughs> What does he say? Squeeze all my nuts. Slop Lick on my, on my butt. Oh, <laughs> hey, don't ever jump on my lyrics like that, son. Or Juicy J's. Don't be cross lyrics. Yeah. Don't be crossing lyrics, son. The line goes, squeeze on my nuts. Lick on my butt. Uh -uh. I'm Juicy J. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. He got, he got some cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucks with Juice, man. Um, I fucks with 3-6, man. It, it, hey. Yeah, that that was a good one. I think they, I think they, I think you know, because Bone Thugs is my boys too. Love both right. groups, but I thought Three Six got that one. Mm -hmm. In you know, in my in my opinion, I thought they they brought a, a a different energy. You know what I'm saying? But another one of my favorites was KRS One and Big Daddy Kane. Oh, uh, dope. You know they they yeah. they fucking they. That was one of the best. They put on a great show right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it, and it's a mixed feeling for that one, like on who got it. A lot of people say Kane, and a lot of us say, you know, KRS. But realistically, nobody lost. We all won because that was a fucking great experience. Yes. Yeah. You know, and anyone who didn't know who those two dudes were that happened to be watching because of the platform that they were doing it on, yeah. pff, they got an education. Yep, <laughs> that shit was everything. I mean, you know, a lot of people learn through through verses. You know, you know, yeah. Who the fuck is KRS? Who's Big Daddy right. Kane? Who's you know? Right. Yeah, I mean, even when you do the R and B ones. Yeah. Those are fucking yeah, yeah. tight too, man. That Jill Scott and uh, Erica Badu joint. That was. That was cool. That was fucking tight. Yeah, that was the first. Uh, I think one of the first in instances we saw someone instead of going versus each other, it was like celebrating each other. Celebrating work. each other, and that's what it really should be. But when you had a beef, or you got a beef, yeah. or you know, uh, <laughs> a rivalry. Yes. All right. You know, you got to kind of play to that. True. As long as it don't get out of hand. I thought the locks and 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 Dipset handled that shit pretty well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because what even... about the Fat Joe? The Fat Joe and Ja Rule. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, eh. <laughs> I, 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 what were you going to say, Cap? Shit, I forgot. <laughs> that happens a lot over here. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> New beginnings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Cap you know, some verses are going to be great matches and some are going to be okay matches. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like one of the one of the fucking dope ones too was um, DMX and, and Snoop Dogg. Oh yeah, nice. That was one of the best ones. Like yeah. they were celebrating each other yeah. too. They weren't necessarily going at each other crazy. They were like sort of doing the songs with each other. Yeah, that was dope. To see Snoop do uh, some of DMX's ad libs, yeah, you know what I mean? That, that, that was shit, that come was on, good. man. Where you gonna see that? Yeah, that shit was hot. That was cool. But DMX got battle raps. So, yes, he does. So his but Snoop sound, does too. Like he was going at his fucking neck. Look, here's yeah, the yeah. here's the thing, right? Snoop got such a vast catalog of songs. He's got songs for the chicks. Yeah. Songs for the street. Yeah. Songs that are like more hardcore, like gangster gangster shit. Right. That's, that are beyond street. Like he's got all those categories locked up in his catalog, right? So he could have went song for song with X, you know, but he chooses to do something different every fucking yeah. time. You never know what he's going to do. Yeah, That's the cool. thing about Snoop. You know what I mean? Like, he's he's versatile like that. You you just don't know what, what he's going to do, but he could do it all. Yeah. Like, his freestyle abilities, right. like, nobody talks about that shit because he don't, you don't hear him do it much anymore, but, like, he'll freestyle his fucking ass off and, and not stop. He got yeah. that that mechanism, you know what I'm saying? Like, he don't get enough credit because I think 
when you when he starts doing the radio shit and 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 the songs for the girls, you know, you sort of like all the motherfuckers that like used to ride for you, like all oh, on some hip hop shit. They have a tendency to forget. Oh, you making songs for the girls now, right. whatever. Right. But my dude, he still got that sword sharp as fuck. That I know for hit. sure. A hit is a hit, man. You don't need yeah. battle raps to be a hit. LL Cool J. That shit is a crazy. Was a the hit. first to show that. You know? Hey, what y'all think about the uh, Super Bowl performance? Ah, that shit was that shit comedy. Was crazy. I thought I thought it was cool. It was dope. I thought it was cool. I it with it. There was a co- there was a couple moments that were like okay, <laughs> but <laughs> for, yeah. I think they did that thing, man. Nah, you know, Snoop what I'm definitely put his foot in. It was as yeah. dope as they could get for that, you know. Oh, Snoop yeah. killed it. Like yeah. his shit was ultra clean. Yeah, Snoop was. Yeah, Kendrick, he killed it. Kendrick was yeah, he sounded hungry as fuck. He just had like crazy. Just yeah. even his visual was dope. Yeah, yeah. M-, like, M killed it. Yeah, yeah, M was dope. Man. Who do, who do you think didn't kill it? Less. Um, I think I don't. I, I think they all killed it. I just, I just, I'm just more like somebody. I forgot who it was. Fifty. His mic was real low or something like. Yeah. His mic's like always that. pretty like, low. So I was like, damn, I can't really yeah. hear the vocal. He got a grumbly voice. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So like that. I think they keep his mic low. Yeah. Cause you know that, that like when you get a hot mic with somebody that's got that that natural yeah. right, right. that natural shit yeah. it it sounds crazy so yeah. they probably tend to lower his shit, shit. No doubt. Right. you know but man they were going in on him oh, like sh- over you know just the appearance <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like you know the last time anyone seen him he was cut up you know and now he's big but hey, you know, like he's the type of dude who could snap in real quick. He could live. Hit that gym six months. He'd be back to back to the old shit real yeah. fast. Man, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm fucking with that power. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. Is it hey, good? Have you seen the BMF shit? Hard. Did you I watch I seen it? the BMF. That shit hard too, but I think the best out of everything is power. power. Yeah, right. that shit hard. I fuck yeah. with it. The BMF shit is cool. I, I was fucking with that. Mm-hmm. You know, I think I, I think season two gonna be better because it gonna tell more. Yeah, it gonna tell a lot more. I think they were just trying to set it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little pilot. I, I, I think yeah, I yeah. think the homie that's that's uh, Meech's son, the right. homie that's playing Big Meech, mm-hmm. he's doing a pretty goddamn yeah, I, good I, I job. He did his thing. For yeah, sure. that whole cast is pretty good. Yeah. One like, thing I ain't gonna lie, I think Fifty the way they choose them characters on all his oh, shows, man. maybe I fuck with them. It don't never give me no bad vibes like. You know, because he's a real know. one. Yeah, you know what I'm he, saying? It's he, not corny. No, every time he yeah. get a character, it's not that corny. Like right now, I'm watching, uh, what's that shit called? They got a new show now, Force, with Tommy from Power. That shit yeah. cool. You know what it is? Is when you got someone that's in the creative lane that's actually telling the stories properly. Right. And he ain't trying to do no Hollywood cornball shit. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. It has more truth to it. Yeah. And and more reality, and I think that's why motherfuckers fuck with with all the fifty shit because he comes from that. Yeah. He's not somebody that says he's from there and he ain't. Right. He's actually, you know, he came from that life, and and you know, the depiction of it is everything. Because when you got motherfuckers watching it who who are living that right now, and in living in those circumstances or around it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like they'll call bullshit on bullshit. And most motherfuckers love that, love yeah. the power shit, love yeah, yeah. love all that, all those series that yeah. my man's created. That's the movies, you know. Yeah. It's always yeah. gonna be good, yeah. Yeah. whether it's a hood or you know. Whatever. He's flexing, man. Yeah, get these flexing. He don't give a fuck what nobody thinks, and that's Dude. awesome. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he didn't just stick to music, you know what I mean? He decided to branch out and be like, "Fuck it, let's go do television. Right. Let's go do this." He's got books, and you know what I mean. Like, like I got more. Yeah. Yo, I there's know. a lot of shit going down in ATL. Like, the, yeah. right? That's like the second Hollywood over there right now. Right. Like, nah, definitely. I'm trying to get into that. <laughs> the acting and all that shit. Yeah, right? yeah. That's, I'm trying to get that's, into yeah, that's that. A good look. Yeah, yeah. yeah, a bunch of studios are there, right? You back yeah. there before, though, right? Yeah, I did uh, I did Dope, the movie Dope. Yeah, yeah you, you bought yeah. the Bitcoin, right? Yeah, with the Bitcoin. Yeah. I hate that. I ain't know shit about <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have tapped in with that shit. I ain't understand none of that crypto stuff. I ain't know about that shit, man. But yeah, I did dope. That was in 2015, bro. That's crazy. Wow. You gonna yeah. get? You gonna do some more acting? 
Yeah, I'm trying to now. Um, I've been doing. I actually got a role for. I didn't get it though, cause of, um, what's that shit called? Va- vaccinated. I ain't vaccinated type shit. Right. So that, I couldn't do it, man. But I'm getting on that shit. I'm trying. I'm trying to get in my acting bag, just doing something different. And I feel on that like I'm just a natural at it. Like it's something that I enjoy. Like I got to get on it though. For when you did it that first time, you felt like yeah. this is something I could do. Yeah. Like even when I did that, um. Man, they just threw me out there, and a lot of that shit was freestyle, bro. I just, I just got in the moment. To be honest, I was a lot of that shit. I just freestyle that shit. I just put myself there. I don't know how I did it, but yeah, uh, yeah. That's you don't. It's like another. It's a other form of art. Yeah, yeah. It's an art form to be able to like you know jump into a a yeah. role and right play that. That part, but like I said, ATL is popping right now. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. all that shit. So psh, yeah. you could easily get in a right. show here, whatever. Dude. Well, a lot of motherfuckers from Cali and New York have yeah. planted flags up there, like oh, they've yeah. left and yeah. gone to to Atlanta. Bunch of film houses, yep. production companies. I know went out yeah. to Georgia over in Atlanta just set up shop. Well, right, you know, right. Shout out, um, Greg Nice. He he's up in the ATL. He's always telling me, "Yo, you need to come out here." You need yeah, to yeah. DJ, Man, when he, the last time y'all been to ATL? Me. I was I was there before the all the pandemic hit. I Sweet went Water there for Sweetwater Brewery. Oh, it's dope. based in it. They're, they're the ones with the 420 uh-huh. fucking label on the beer. Dope. Went out there for that. But I mean, you know, we you know before it all shut down, we do shows there almost every year. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So we're constantly there. I mean, it's it's one of my favorite places to go. <laughs> but you know, yeah, that was the last time we were there. We were drinking some beer. Those. And I don't really drink a lot of beer, but I was drinking that day. <laughs> what you what you think about the uh, rasa out there? Hey, it's crazy when you think about it, right? You fucking go down there, and, and you don't think you're gonna see any Latinos down there, right? And boom, you you go do a show like ours, and they're right there representing. Same with Chicago. I didn't know before I knew. Yeah. Like I went yeah. to Chicago for the first time in '91, and. We go do a show and it's fucking lit. These motherfuckers are going nuts to our shit. The next time we come back, it's on May fifth on Cinco de Mayo, right? Right. And normally we'd be playing somewhere here on the West Coast in California for that shit, right? Or Texas or something mm-hmm. where there's big Latino culture. Yep. But I didn't understand at the time how big Latino culture was in in Chicago. We go there, and and again, I was like, why are we playing? here on may 5th and we fucking go there a shit load of mexicans and latinos just uh-huh. racking that the mexican flags and all that shit i was like oh wow and and so when you go to places like that or and mostly it, it you know when you go to somewhere in georgia and see latinos there your yeah. fucking mind is blown because you don't cool right. at least back in that day you didn't think they were going to be there but yeah. they're there we're everywhere oh yeah we're fucking everywhere doc so scared, Dad. And and it's good. It's good to see that because you know you you feel like, all right, our mm-hmm. people in this area are representing. They're right here. Nah, That's for dope. real. Like my first time coming out here to Cali, it's like so Cali, like the first place I really traveled to in L.A. I came out here like as soon as I graduated high school. So that's like 2012. Yeah. So when I came out here, I'm like. God damn, it's a lot of Mexicans, bro. Oh yeah, <laughs> and like it's a small world because I, to be honest, where I'm from, um, Atlanta, I'm from the South Side, and to be honest, you really never leave outside of there. So like, me to travel to LA, I was like, God damn, we like a lot deep of people. Out here. Yeah, we, we, and where we I'm deep from, out like here. We, it yeah. ain't. It's like we just a small amount where we at, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But we growing. But when I got out there, I was like, damn, this shit different. Like it just took me to another place. I was like, sheesh. Yeah. Like we, then on top of that, like a lot of Mexicans came out there because of the Olympics. Yeah. You know, we had the Olympics in 96. I know that's why I'm out there. And uh, we, we, we just steady growing. We like on like two generations probably now, maybe three the most, but like you come to Cali, it's, cause of course Cali used to be Mexico anyway. So right. like it's already <laughs> generations right. down. Then when I seen like, it was middle class Mexicans. I'm like, oh shit, I'm fucking with that. Like, we got money, cause to be honest, like out there, you don't see too many Mexicans with money. Mm. So like, when I came out here, I'm like, damn, like, okay, y'all doing y'all thing. Oh, that yeah. shit just motivated me. I ain't gonna lie. We all up and down Cali, from yeah, north yeah. to the middle to the south, right, everywhere. Right. 
For yeah. sure. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New York. New York too. Yeah. 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 No. Queens. Like, oh, yeah. When I, when, Queens. when I see some when I see some Rasa in, in in New York for the first time, I was like, damn, that's different. Because you know, usually you know we stay away from the, the cold. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? They're right there, and that it, it, on the East Coast where it's cold as fuck. But you never during know. During winter, m- motherfuckers got situations. Let me have to get away from LA. Shit is hot. Let me go to. New York. Hey, listen, I seen some Mexicans in Moscow, dog. God, it's tight. <laughs> Running a Mexican restaurant down there in Moscow. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Exhibit took me down there. I could not believe it. He kept bragging about it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, right. And he was like, no, nah, my, no, nah, my G, I'm telling you, this shit is real. They're like, my, you know, it's, it's, I ain't gonna take you no bullshit spot. I'm like, okay. Yeah, you'll be surprised. And, man. and he took me to, to the spot and it was straight up authentic <laughs> Mexican food made by some Mexican motherfuckers and some Russians that they taught how to get down. That's tight. With, you know how they do it. Wait, you said Moscow? In Moscow. Wait, where is Moscow? Russia. 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 Sheesh, Russia. Yeah, we everywhere, yeah, man. We everywhere. We everywhere. You can't go a place we ain't. Well, no, that's not true. There's places we're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is. There's a few. But one day we might be there. I'm sure. Sometime or another. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, man. Look, you're watching the Dr. Green Thumb Show. We rock it Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the start, 5 Eastern. If you haven't smashed that like yet, what the fuck is wrong with you? Smash it and hit subscribe. And then all notifications so you get down with everything we're dropping. All right? And, uh, again, once again, we just started filming the smoke boxes again, so those are coming back soon in April. Just to let you know that the new smoke boxes are dropping in April. Just, uh, you know, get ready. And, uh, again, share the show out. Spread the love. Don't be bogarting, all right? <laughs> it's meant to be shared like the good weed we smoke. Yes. Tell a friend to tell a friend. That's right. Yep. And salute to Redline Reserve for uh, popping off this SOS we're smoking Ooh. here. Uh, one of my favorite mm. strains in the Redline Reserve. Um, so thank you, brah. Get Shout you out. there. Oh. Yes, indeed. Oh. All right. Oh. And uh, joining us at the table, we got our special guest, Cap G, up in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yo, We're, how long, how long you, been, you been spitting? Shit, I've been spitting for about like 10, maybe like 10, 11 years. I, I, I started like taking it real serious, maybe. Well, I started in ninth grade, so that's probably like 10 years ago, maybe 11. And when I got out of high school, man, um... I was just like, cause I, I I don't know what you would call it, but I was pretty popular in high school. So like, I was like, man, I can't I can't be one of them guys who are popular and like don't do shit with their life, just go get a job, or right. just be simple. I was like, you know what, man? You were playing sports, right? Yeah, yeah. I used to play basketball, man, and um, I quit basketball to to focus on my rap shit. Like, fuck it, I'm a rapper. Hmm. And after that, like, um, I used to have a coach coming to my class and everything, like, trying to get me on the team. I'm like, nah, man, I don't fuck with that shit no more. So after that, man, when I graduated, man, I really locked in, bro. And I remember waking up 6 in the morning. Goddamn, I see all my friends going to college, having fun with the ladies. Man, I just sacrificed a lot, bro. I was like, fuck this fun shit. It's time for me to go up. And, um... Maybe like three months after that, I got signed and I dropped this song with Chief Keef. I don't know if y'all yeah. you know Chief yeah. Keef. Yeah, yeah. You got a manager? Who's Chief Keef? Yeah. You got a manager at that, that age too? Oh, so shit, I did all this with my brother. Oh, nice. Yeah, with my blood All independent. Brother. Yeah, with my blood brother. Like, he always, I'm the youngest out of my family. I got hella brothers, so like, that's- You got good. six older brothers, right? Yeah, I got five and one older sister. Ah. So like, the good thing about that is, man, when you young, like, you can see all the mistakes they did, and they going, well, not everybody would do that, but the brothers I had, they told me what was going on type shit. So right. I just, I had it right. And my brother, who who is my manager, man, this, this motherfucker is crazy, like, Shit that I wouldn't even believe in myself. He'll tell me like, "Yo, you gonna be this, you gonna be that," and that's a great thing to have yeah. at a young age. That's you know, right. Man. And um, and and shit, we made that shit happen, bro. For real. Shout, shout out, shout out, CEO, one man. So, 
Yeah, yeah, that's, that's I've been rapping about 10, 11, 12 years. I ain't I ain't really been counting, but I've been doing it for a minute, bro. And that's the important shit. Instead yeah, yeah. of, you know, because there's too many motherfuckers that'll tell you that you can't. And right. Like, oh, man, you need to focus on something else. Hey, I see my teacher. Uh, So one of my teachers I see in the hallway, he like, he like, yo, shit, you, you, you need to have a backup plan. And I ain't going to, I'm not saying, like, people shouldn't have a backup plan. That's y'all, but... I was like, fuck this shit, I'm going to make it, I'm going to be a rapper. I used to tell him every day in the hallway, whether he used to see me skipping, goddamn going to the next class, like, yo, I'm going to make it. He said, man, you need a backup, you need a backup. I'm telling you, you need to go to college, do something. And now every day, like, uh, I ain't been back to my old school in a minute, but when I went back, I seen his ass. I was like, I told y'all I was going to make it as a rapper. He couldn't do nothing but respect it, though. That was my dog, though, but that's the only thing I ain't like about him. He used to always be like, bro, you need to have a backup plan, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, man. There's always going to be those that, like, don't believe because they don't see the work you put into it. Yeah. They don't understand the hours that you might right. dedicate to that shit and, like, how much pass passion you have for it because right. they can't gauge that. Right. They don't know you like that. They know you in yeah, yeah. class. Right. That's, but they don't know you outside You got to do like all that behind closed doors when nobody watching you. So right. So, like, how else they going to know? Yeah. yeah. For real. And, and, and most teachers, when a student tells it, like, so what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to be? Right. Oh, I'm going to be a rapper. The red right. flags go up <laughs> in their head. They're yeah, trying yep. to talk you out of that shit. Go to college. Uh, you know, you ain't never going to make it. And da 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 And this and that. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, instead of feeding you the encouragement like his brother did, yeah. right? Saying, like, you could be whatever you fucking want to be. You yeah. could do this. You're going to do this. We're going to help be, you It could do even this be shit. a homie. Or, 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 right. Yeah, or even that. Yeah, yeah. No matter who it is. Yeah, yeah. You know, the encouragement yeah. is fucking everything yeah. because most of the time, all we get is discouraged. Yeah, yeah. Right? Is like, that? nah, man, don't do that. That ain't the move. Because, I mean, we got our fair share of that. Oh, man, you need to get a job. That shit ain't going to pop. Yeah, you're going to try to get a deal with having to deal with so-and-so, so-and-so, and so-and-so. You think you could make music better than that? Right. You know, and all those things that might make you think, you know what? You're right, man. I, I God, Can I be that yeah. great? Probably not. <laughs> it, it, and, you're and, absolutely and, right. And then you, you start having this defeatist mentality like, nah, man, I can't. You know what? It ain't even worth my time because right. I'll never be as great as the people I fuck with. Yeah. yeah. And, and the minute you say that to yourself, done deal. Done. Right. Yep. So the fact that your brother was encouraging, that's everything, man, because yeah. there's too yeah. many motherfuckers that'll speak against your yeah, dreams. Yeah, like sometimes you just need one person to believe in you. You never know, because it'd be so much bullshit going on in life. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. even when I got in the game, though, like, I I'm still young and shit, but I remember, like, like, because I feel like Atlanta right now, we having a big run. Like, Atlanta going crazy right now. And um, before I got in the game, I remember it wasn't even streaming yet. It was still like selling, you know, selling um tracks off iTunes and shit. So I got signed very early. So to even still be here, that shit just crazy, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. Hey man, it's 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 a part of what you tell yourself and how deep you believe in yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta just go. You tapped in with everybody in Atlanta? Like are you tight with all the all the talent out there? Yeah, I'm pretty tapped in, yeah. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Easily. Um like, I know a, cu a couple of them, I ain't got to say no name, but a lot of people, like, you grow up with them, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to lie, one thing about Atlanta, it got a lot going on, but people don't realize, like, it's really not that big, though. Yeah, it's you know not big. Saying? Yeah, it's not big, like, it's not that big. So, like, a lot of people I grew up with, a lot of people I seen them on some make it before they made it, on some, like, we might be do a showcase together, like. You're going to run into every motherfucker yeah. in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, for sure. People, f you know, like outside of it act like it's a state within a state. Yeah. Right. And it's really not that. Mm -hmm. It's a big city. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's it's really getting populated. Right. Like it wasn't as populated 20 years ago as it is today. A lot of motherfuckers that moved motherfucker out there. That motherfucker populated. So, so, <laughs> yeah, it's populated now. Hella traffic like, in that Crazy. Now, yeah. Yeah, so, so Jermaine, he's still the king, right, though, over there? Jermaine. Wouldn't T.I. Oh, be the legendary. king? The king T.I. Oh, you yeah. said It could go so many ways. It could go so many ways. Yeah, That's it, not a lot. It's like, it, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it, yeah, got, it goes it so many ways. But shit, Jermaine, it, it, we, we from the south side. Jermaine from the same place I'm from. Yeah. Okay. 
and shit. He definitely one of the ones who put the shit on his back. Yeah. He did. He kicked, yeah. he kicked the put lot that of shit doors on his open. Back, you know, so keep that shit open. Yeah, I mean, they people just don't know like the kind of, you know, the kind of hustle dude got. For real. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And like the work he's put in. I mean, he's put in legendary work, not just in hip hop, but in R and B and all that shit. And like, I mean, come on, man. Come on, he yes. went from from dancing with Houdini. From dancing with Houdini. He used to yeah. be a dancer yeah. for for a group called Houdini. No, I already Houdini. know it. Like, oh. uh, so I the person who signed me at um at a major label, it was uh his name KP. He the one found Ti, Usher, Pink, a lot of people, and uh, he told me stories about JD like. It's this place, like, you know how everybody got a little sh- a skating center, like, where you from, my son? They used to be at Skate Time. He'll be a dancer. They do talent shows. Like, nah, JD got it out the mud for sure. Uh, yeah. And that ain't even my generation, but you just hit, you okay. know, you all, when somebody real and they really did what they did, they, you gonna hear the stories about it, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. J, JD definitely put on for, Oh, for yeah. the music in Atlanta, for it to be where it's at now. Oh yeah, he's definitely sure. one of the pioneers and Hell one yeah. of the OGs definitely. down there in terms of hip hop and you know even R and B music. He's he's done his thing. Man, crazy big time. Him and uh, Aston Aston Green, right? Yeah. What do you mean? Wait, no. Dallas Austin. Da- Dallas, Dallas Austin. Dallas Austin. Austin. Yeah, yeah, Dallas Austin. That's what I would say. To be honest, I give it to Dallas Austin and JD. Yeah. But for. for yeah, definitely. And um Hey man. Ludacris. Nah, Luda he, definitely, yeah. He he did his thing too. Cause I remember when he was doing radio with uh with Shaka down there. Right. Shaka was, uh, yeah. 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 I heard it. He used to be a radio personage. Yeah. Crazy. Ludacris from the same side where I'm from too. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. You met that fool? Yeah, I met I met um I met Luda I think at the mall. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it be it be dope. And this like when I was like first coming out, it be dope when like I see like the OGs, you know, know who I am. I be like, shit, why well, I used to watch you on TV. I used to fuck with you all that. Like <laughs> So I seen um Luda, this back this this a minute ago though. He he had a he had a um no, nah, I ain't gonna say all that, but I seen him in the mall and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he 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 dapped me up and that shit was surreal, bro, cause like I feel like anybody before you make it, like you gonna remember those times when you used to see people on TV all right. that. You know what I'm saying? So like, that was yeah, yeah. inspiring, you know, to you. So. Yeah, yeah. All and day. It, yeah, and uh, and like at the end of day too, like I'm walking past him, and I know who he is for sure. I ain't gonna shy away from that. But it's like, I don't be knowing how people be acting sometimes, you know. So yeah. to see somebody to embrace me. Hell yeah. I be like, shit, I got to fuck with you even more. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to say what's up to you, but it's just like when somebody else embrace you, like, oh, shit, that's real. And, and they know who you are. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that means you're putting in the work. Yeah, yeah, Because if right. he knows who you right. are right. and he's giving you dap, you're putting in the work. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because sure. otherwise yeah. he could have just been like, oh, I don't know. Oh, All right, what up? What up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That sure. He could have been like that hustle and flow shit. <laughs> Skinny, man. <laughs> Tell me this shit fell out your pocket, man. Put that <laughs> work in. <laughs> nah, for real, man. Oh, man. That was a cold, cold line right there. ATL's haunted, bro. Like, a lot. I've been watching a lot of the fucking travel, travel or channel <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. A lot of haunted shit. You, don't, you, don't, you never experienced paranormal shit out there? Hell, nah. I ain't gonna lie. You said paranormal, like the ghost shit. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of historic roots out there. So, nah, like, it is, it's, bro. There's a lot of like native shit. There's a lot of like slave spirits. There's a lot of crazy right. shit that went down from the history out there. So, like, oh, really? there's a lot. Yeah, of there's a probably a couple. There's there's a few. I'm sure buildings. it is, bro. I'm sure it is. But I ain't never like the only thing I ever experienced like traditional mama shit. My mama always talking about Diablo all that. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> scared you? Hell no. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't. I don't give a fuck about the spirits. Yeah, you gonna do the V. You I love scary movies, by the way. I be knowing about all that shit that happened in history. You can stand gore and shit? I don't give a fuck about that shit. I like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I be finding my own demons, man. I don't care about that shit. But I, There you I, go, I, see? Yeah. I ain't never experienced no shit like that. And if I did, I wouldn't give a fuck. I ain't scared. It wouldn't freak you out if shit just moved in front of you? No, sir. <laughs> I treat like a regular human being. Or Chucky Donald. I mean, I think that's the thing, right? right? The reaction that you give is gonna be based on the ex- you know experience you have. Like, you know, if 
if there yeah. was a spirit that really wanted to fucking scare the shit out of you. And that's what I learned. I watch hella scary movies. That's what I learned about them. They say that's why they be like, if, if you scared of them, that's when they attach to you and shit. So like I don't give a fuck. Because they're always trying to get rid of you. Yeah, like, right. like you're always trying to get rid of them. If you're afraid <laughs> of it. Possess shit. All that possess shit. I be watching all that shit. I love that shit, boy. Yeah. yeah Just, man, you need to get a a, 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 a a you know, get on one of the movies. I need to, yeah, set, you're right. You know? Oh yeah. Right. Paranormal Activity Five. Damn, I ain't know that though. They said in Atlanta it's a lot of shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. I watched the, the travel ch- that's a travel channel and then they have like most haunted places. There's like oh, a lot shit. of fucking well, hotels. Well, and... when you got buildings that are over a hundred years old, right? Yeah. And Atlanta definitely got a few of those, from homes to business buildings and so on, right? There's energy trapped in there, right? For sure, right? There's no fucking doubt about it, and that's anywhere you go. It's it, a lot of anywhere blood. you go, a lot it's, of blood on them streets, especially where yeah. there's been wars and bloodshed and Ooh. shit like that. There's a lot of that trapped energy. Right. Like unsettled, unsettled. Hell yeah! I mean, some some people see it, some don't. Right. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, it all depends on if your receptors are on or. That's real though. Copy. I, I I done talked to a couple girls like, and like they'll get a little too comfortable and tell me some shit. I be like, what the fuck? Like they be saying like they be seeing shit. I be like, oh okay, but I don't be really knowing. And even like my label, um, they used to book me at the uh. What's that hotel called? Uh, hotel Roosevelt. Is it Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Oh, yeah. Stay there all the time. Then I remember I brought this girl over there, bro, and she like, I heard this uh, hotel hunted, and I never even it, thought about that shit. But it do floor. got a little vibe. It's a floor. Oh, it's a floor. What floor? What floor is I've it? I've been See, on. Is it the fourteenth, the thirteenth, oh, or yeah, I don't have the one where anymore. Marilyn Monroe was on. No, it wasn't Marilyn Monroe. Cause she had a room there, and supposedly she. Mm, was, no, it's not her room that's haunted. It's it's um. Can't remember the actress's oh, wait, the name. Roosevelt. We're talking about the Roosevelt. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Wrong okay, hotel. So the Roosevelt, it's it's either the fourteenth or the twenty something floor. Crazy. And no one stays on it unless they specifically ask to stay in that suite. Oh, so they don't book nobody there. No one nope. books that suite in, unless you're they're thrill seekers or paranormal um the fuck? fucking uh, enthusiasts that. or friendly. <laughs> yeah, or if they want to see what the experience is like staying oh, so in that, that room. Shit like real, then. Yeah, yeah, that shit is yeah. that shit is real. They don't real. book nobody there. That's crazy. Unless you ask for there's it. Unless cert- unless you ask for it. Yeah, there's certain places that'll put you in danger, bro. Like there's you know, you may not believe in it, but there's some places that you're like, oh man, that I felt something whether you you saw it or right. not. Like there's that haunted museum in uh, Vegas. Like to go through this room that has all these artifacts, you have to sign a waiver because some people come out of there like maybe. This, the spirits weren't fucking with your energy, and they gonna scratch the shit out of you. Like, what the fuck happened? God damn. Yeah, <laughs> like, and then you yeah. you leave there with marks, and you gotta sign like a waiver. And that shit. shit crazy. I seen I ain't... some. Uh, what's the movie I just seen? Uh, it's called Winchester. It's son in San Jose. It's about uh, the. One, I think they made some type of gun, and everybody who got uh, got killed from the gun. She, they'll come hunt the lady where she uh where she stayed at the, the CEO type shit. Y'all ain't never seen that Winchester. It sounds yeah. familiar. But sounds familiar. They, they said that they, they said they got the mansion in San Jose. It's huh. hunted. Yeah. Wow. San Jose is that the house with the endless uh is it endless on rooms? Nah, uh, it came out in theaters, but yeah. uh, it's probably on Netflix and shit. I don't know. Oh, what's what it it's called? On. The Winchester. Winchester. It's the Winchester House, right? Yeah, yeah and it's yeah, like yeah, it has. Mo- yeah. The lady couldn't stop building that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 People yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Is that yo? There's, that's it. there's rooms that'll like open up because the whole thing was that yeah. I think like her husband died or some shit. And he made a deal, or she made a deal with the, she made a pact with the devil or something like that. And the whole thing oh, was like, yeah, you I ain't gonna, <laughs> yeah, you ain't gonna be at peace until like if you stop building, shit's gonna fucking just go crazy for you. So keep building in this house. That was the original agreement. So this lady throughout her lifetime would spend her husband, her husband's fortune and all this money to build that house. Like shit that wasn't necessary. Be like, yeah, put a door in the ceiling, put this shit right there, just as long as you keep Damn, building. That's crazy. Wow. I yeah. mean, I had heard she also built those different passages that led to nowhere for spirits that were like looking. Yeah, that's, yeah, the whole time spirits were telling her where to where and what to do to the house. So like 
is this a museum now or yeah. motherfuckers yeah, yeah, yeah. live there? No, it's a no, museum no, no. now. Museum. Yeah. Uh, I'm, imagine the caretakers, what they fucking <laughs> got to nope. go through in there, man. Because nope. there is some crazy shit probably popping off. All those construction people, they say that that shit, that whenever, anytime you're dealing with something like that, that's like a, you know, like a big project, of course, like I say, I would say maybe in the past time it was more common for people to die. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I mean? Like, or, or properties that you got to work on like that. Like right. people... Construction workers, maintenance people, they're the ones who get to experience that's shit the spread like spread right there. Yeah, that's it Dang. right there. Look at it. There's so she, many add-ons. She, and... she sure enough did not stop building. I mean, like, fuck. How, yeah. Like, how much property did they have that she could keep building like this? God damn. But they even say inside the houses, there's staircases that lead to nowhere. Yeah. That's, well, that's how your crib looks in ATO? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Ooh, imagine. <laughs> you get you a lot of land in ATO, boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, for real. I would imagine that they have a hard time trying to sell that piece. Ooh. I don't think so, it's for sale. that's why it's a museum. Historical? No, it's, it's a historic landmark. A lot yeah. of people just go there. Because yeah. It's Plus, it's haunted as fuck. That's hey, probably why they can't. And they got to disclose that. that to you when they sell it to you. Like, this place is has has a weird energy. We have to let you know that. Well, they, yeah. they're preserving it because there's no uh, there's not that many buildings like that in its existence. It's also a Victorian house, you know. Yeah. yeah no. uh, Jesus, how many rooms does that fucking place have? I don't know about right that, but it's probably like a hundred and some odd rooms. It's yeah, many that. rooms. You know how much shit? noise you're gonna hear at night? When yeah. You sleep? Ooh, the creaking of the wood. Hey, the doors there. opening and closing at night. Like, yeah, I ever watched uh, the Conjuring? Yeah, I've seen I've seen the first. Is that one. the one yeah. with the doll? No. Yeah, it got something to do with yeah. the dog, but yeah, but it ain't Annabelle though. But the conjuring, I seen some shit come to my phone, like some news. Um, so wherever that that took place at, they bought that house for fucking one million dollars. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. They wow. bought the house for a million, a, a hunted house. Yeah. Crazy. They tear them down now. Like Amity, the Amityville Horror House, they had to tear that shit down because people would not leave that shit alone. I and actually then, went there. Yeah, like, Wait, yeah, you where told me, is that at? That's in that New York. Is it, is it oh, Connecticut shit. or New York? It's, I think it's, well, it's upstate. <laughs> yeah. East. I think it's, it's in the East Coast. Yeah, so, isn't that where Maceo's from? It's like Amityville, like right Yeah, that, I think that's New York. Right? So, like, I think one of those houses, they tore it down because people would either just keep, like, like uh, loitering in front of it or they would just, they, they you know, the well, owners would never stick to it. They well, you know, the they wanted to see if that all the shit was real, like if that was the portal to hell right there because mm. that's what it got labeled as. For real? Yeah. I ain't you know the Halloween it. house is in Pasadena. Yeah, but that's that's just... <laughs> Yo, these not real, lads. <laughs> Who? Amityville's based on a true story. <laughs> yeah, true story. Yo, it's really still a happy. horror flick. <laughs> it is. Look You're right. That. That's the, house, <laughs> the Halloween house. Yeah. Is the you know, window. like, how many motherfuckers drove up the block to see this fucking house? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I ain't watch. I don't know shit about him. Okay, so it's it's a house where um, this family moves into. They just move in, and they start encountering crazy shit. Mm. And they the the man of the house starts hearing voices, and crazy shit starts happening. He eventually, I think, kills his whole family, then kills himself and the dog. Damn, I, I think and the, the son, dog. The son gets possessed. No. Yeah. No, no the, the the dad. No, the dad got possessed. Oh, okay. Yeah, he fucking he blasted everybody. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. First part. Yeah. Yeah, like he he uh, he got possessed. Apparently, mm -hmm. killed the whole family and the dog. Then I, and kills himself. Yeah. And it's and, and it's like people the, when yeah. the, when people looked that up, they said it was like so crazy that especially a blast from the shotgun that at that close, none of the people that were there like or the victims were like. They woke up or reacted to it. Because, man, if there's, like, that many people in a house that big, if you hear shots coming up there, you're like... Well, at there. Amityville, it was, it's it's not as big as you think. It's, it's you know, it's a family home. Yeah. And, you know, only the neighbors were going to hear that because there was nobody alive well, left in the I'm house. I'm talking about, like, when you hear the first shot go off, if, oh, like, yeah. you're a kid sleeping in the other room, you know, or something like that, you, you, you're you going to panic. You're going to hear it somehow, but none, right. of these, none of them reacted to it from, like, you know, what... Forensic they, files show. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Damn. So they, they tore down this crib <sighs> because of the fucking horrible energy it possessed. Mm. And they shouldn't even build on that fucking house. Yeah. Like whatever wherever the foundation is, right? And I'm sure they know because it's like they probably it's marked. Yeah. They should never sell it for someone to live in it. You believe in aliens? Hell yeah. Yeah, dope. You ever seen some shit out there? Nah, I, uh, 
I heard, I t- I, and I talked to too many girls, but a girl told me that she seen it earlier before, but nah. I, hey, what I just kind know of that- girls are these brothers? They see ghosts? They fucking see aliens? Well, you got to yeah. think about it. <laughs> out, like, in parts of Georgia, it's like, Real country. There's not a lot of city lights out there in certain parts. That's true too. Yeah. So you could see shit in the sky in a different, clearly, in a different guess, yeah. way, much more. Because yeah. like you know, if you live too close to the city, all the city lights sort of wash it. Right, right. You know what I mean? But when you're out more towards the country and there's not so much lights, you see shit like that. So on a road somewhere, mm-hmm. you know this. It's not lit up around you. You could totally fucking see shit. Yeah, no, I believe in aliens, though. I feel like we ain't the only ones here. No. Nah, right? Hell yeah, no. Nah. Like, especially when you realize, like, where we are in consideration of the whole universe that's been recorded. Like, right. there's no possible way. We're yeah, yeah, the yeah. only nah. ones that are here, right? We're in, on this side of it, maybe. But maybe. in the other parts, no, nah, there's, there's yeah. definitely more. Yeah, we just don't know. Our yet. technology isn't yet there to reach them and they're and they like it that way because yeah yeah our our species be fucking shit up <laughs> oh yeah we're yeah look at look what's going on <laughs> all right now you know, know what what I mean? we want to just take over everything oh there's a place let's go let's go conquer <laughs> and we're gonna take the, all that shit over like we're finding all yeah. these earth-like planets and you know not so distant far away the, you know what i mean and that was like, like oh. that south park fucking version right. where they came and tested the, you know the humans by like fucking with that <laughs> with that fake fucking this is space gold yeah <laughs> we need you to hide it for us and don't say nothing it would it would be too beneficial for humankind to let them like yeah. interact with them bro nah those fools have powers dog they, you don't think that you could just be kicking in with those fools and, they, and then they'd be like look man you you, de- you think you could just help me laser this shit together you know what I mean? Or you think you just help me laser, um, bro? They're sure? gifted, brother. Gifted <laughs> beings, dude. If they fucking make UFO things, do you don't think they have stuff that can just fix things like nothing? That's what you would ask them, bro. They fucking have advanced technology, hey, dude. How do you fix my torch? Hey, I'd be like, hey, do you think you could make this car hover? You know what it's time for? <laughs> Real quick. <laughs> it's time for that. <laughs> What's the time? It's time. Time, time for some, time for some missions. Time, time for some, time for some missions. Time, time for some. Alien car mechanics, dude. What the fuck? What's right, going on, everybody? Shout out <laughs> to the insane <laughs> asylum. We got a bunch of submissions in today. First submission is actually from Be Real. What do you mean? Right here. This is what happens when dumbasses try to do shit at home that they shouldn't <laughs> be doing. And film it. Give us some volume, son. Oh! Look at that. Yeah. Lit, fam. Uh, shit blew the fuck I, I should run it back. The fuck? This is the uh, loudest it goes. What? In Simi Valley. In Simi Valley. Some dumbass tried to, um, you know, be, do it, you know. Try to be Cali Blaze? Try to be Cali Blaze <laughs> in an apartment, in his apartment, <laughs> and blew his shit up. <laughs> Por pendejadas. Oh, dude, but they're like, ah, oh, you definitely getting kicked out, bro. So what did we learn from this? <laughs> Don't be Cali Blaze. In your apartment. In your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> if anything. If anything. Yeah, dude, fucking, have you seen how Kelly Blaze's fucking facility, bro? It's huge. Yeah. Fucking huge. That's the right fucking place you're supposed to have to make that shit. Yeah. Not in if, this here you go. Yeah, two yeah. story. Run it, run it back here. His hat's in a, big ass, in a big ass warehouse. If the shit blows up, it's just. Oh, it's not I got it. You saw yeah, that? I saw that. Ah. Yeah, that was on point. No, that was a little late right there. All right. I think they that, got the picture. First that, one was the best, though. Yes. Either that or meth. Oh, no, they, um, they, they, it was it was uh, it was concentrates because damn. they fucking went out of their way to say honey oil, and we all know what that is. It's not real honey oil. You yeah, can it smell is. it too, bro. Like it's you not know, oil of honey. Meth smells like all chemically, like you know. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Does it? That makes sense. <laughs> you can tell when somebody's smoking meth. You're like, damn. Mm, yeah. Fuck. Mm, I bet you can. <laughs> and next one, we got Brie up in here saying she made some chocolate chip oatmeal cookies oh, with some can oh, of butter. Shit. Well, thanks for not sending any. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Thank God you. Damn it. They look delicious. We you killed it. You totally murdered it. She did. 
And next up in here, we got Charles saying, what up, family? Just wanted to show you the finished product of oh. a Valentine's steak dinner. Oh, okay. right. beautiful. Valentine's steak dinner? Damn, that potato salad looks right. That shit looks well done. That's what yo, yeah. Like I got like y'all steak, man. Medium well. Medium. Medium. I like mine well done. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I used to like it well Well's good, good. Medium well I, like, I would like medium well I, li I like mine, you know, a little more on the well-ish Yes But medium, you know what I'm saying? Yes yeah, right They're with you Yeah, you don't want it to be I don't want it undercooked I don't want it bleeding I don't want it bleeding <laughs> Fuck that shit Yeah <laughs> Nah, man The best Like, like a lovely <laughs> shoe or something Certain, certain cuts Okay Not all the cuts You gotta be like Like nice, not bro. that one Nah You gotta right. taste the blood, bro You're right You're <laughs> And next, we got CK Nugs up in here saying, first one right here, this strain is called uh, Ice Cream Coffee. All right. That's not a bad name. Ooh. And he I says, this one right here is unnamed, and the third one right here is called Bananium. Week Bananium. four and a half. Bananium. All, All right. Bananium. Bananium. Looked pretty right. good. The other one was good, too. The one with no name. She who has no name. Jane Doe. That's what you call this bitch right here, Jane Doe. I mean, because you know they're female plants, you could call her Jane Doe. We Jane need nuggets. Ho. I don't know her name. It's Jane Doe. <laughs> and we got DJ the Lizard up in here from Argentina showing off the grow room in his new home. Wow. All right. right. Saying the girls are strong. The girls are very strong. They look beautiful. They're dancing under them lights. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They're like ready to party in a little bit. Don't blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just blow it out. <laughs> blow that bitch up. And we got B Real back up in here again. E oh, shit. B. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's my stunt double, you know what I'm saying? When yeah, I need man. to take a fall, there, he's, there he right. goes. Bam. And he's asking, yo, B, would you do a collab with Foo's Gone Wild? Mm -hmm. All day. I fucks with them. Salute to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got Jester1999 saying he just got the 30th anniversary. Let's go. Dope. 30 jizz, Dope. bro. 30 jizz. Hell yeah. 1991. Look at the invert numbers. Yeah, look at that. Crazy. That's the expanded one, the 30th anniversary edition. You know, it was the dead of the summer when we were wearing all that heavy shit and had a fucking fire in the middle of it. It was yeah. not cold. I, we live in Cali. It's not cold here like that. Yo, know, I always thought every time I looked at that cover that it was for sure freezing. It was not freezing, yeah, bro. Trust. Too. <laughs> Sweating balls under all that shit, my. I was like, man, they're cold. With a beanie, too? Fuck. Yeah. That's why motherfuckers didn't know if we were from L.A., New York, or somewhere, because, like, we had, we looked like that. And, you know, you didn't see L.A. motherfuckers looking like that. Well, you wasn't going to come out of there with tank tops, you know? I didn't even show my face. We were all very um, obscure because we did that on purpose. At yeah. the time, everybody was showing face, and we were like, nah, we ain't going to show face. It just wouldn't that look right with summer clothes, like shorts. Yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, there's some shit like No, that. we seen what that looked like, and that shit just wasn't us. Hawaiian right. shirt. I mean, oh, you know, I would go in a club that was pasty <laughs> fucking hot wearing that same shit. You know oh. what I mean? Doing the show, coming out, sopped up. Ugh. Oof, nah. That's sacrifice, dude. But you know, hey, you do it for the art. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Because that's who you are at that time. Agreed. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Oh, damn. We got a little J-Fire 088. He's sending us a little insane in the propane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel you. Hank Cypress here. Hi, Hank. That's Ezon's dude. Yep. The best. And next up in here, we got Junior saying, finally got to break in my baller box G Pen Micro while working on my birthday. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Is that your birthday present, my? Imagine. Got himself a Corvette and a G Pen. <laughs> Damn. That's a good present. That's a song. It's not, yeah. It's not his car. <laughs> got my Corvette. And a G pin. You see that little Big. small ass Raider sticker yep. in the back? <laughs> I don't got a pretend. I got my Corvette and my G pin. I just want you to know a little bit. I'm rolling with my Corvette and my G pin. Oh, shit. Yup, that's a song. That shit got me twistos. Yeah. A oh, word? It got you twistos? Okay. Twist those. Was, All right. It was a P dog for you. 
Yeah, we put something special <laughs> in there for you. E-Dog, that's fucked up. I feel it. We hey, hit man. you with some extra love right there. Hey, so. I, didn't know, I didn't know you like to get wet. <laughs> Next. <laughs> and next up in you next up in here me. we got J V Jr. saying still rolling old school and I'll see y'all at San Diego Green Thumbs this Saturday. Word up. We're gonna yeah. be in San Diego, eighty seven sixty Compo Road. Um, you know, and Cali Blazes flavors will be up in there. I'll salute to the uh San Diego staff. Come fuck with us. And on February 26th, we're going to be in Silmar celebrating up there. You know what I'm saying? So uh, if you in, you know, this part of Cali or in the Valley, whatever, come down and hang with us in Silmar on the 26th. So, you know, this weekend and um, on the 26th. I, I was there. I heard. And JV Jr. saying he's still rocking the Walkman. Yeah. Fool oh. scratched all those things. Oh, my God. Man. Dude, oh my the God. CD Walkman is it re- is it shock resistant? Probably is G the G protection. protection protection. Yep. Yeah. So that means you could like it could rattle a little bit. I see those at the flea market. Th- there's there. a buffer there. There's a buffer. Yeah, you go buffer. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Excellent. My. That's crazy. Dude, That's I remember I used to, uh, once you found out the lens was important if you really wanted to get back at somebody. Mm. Oh. Just fucking scratch the lens. Put your thumb on that fucking lens. Uh. <laughs> You're a fucking dude. It's so fucker, fucked up. <laughs> hey, Jesus bro, return Christ. my CDs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's not wrong. I mean, back in the day, you spent money for them fucking CDs, man. It's not like a free download. Hey, man, if there's ever a reason, yeah, I agree. Yes. Sometimes that would cause fights. Hey, man, where's my fucking CD at? Hey, dude, man. I had cousins that. Were, I saw you with your fight. goddamn hands on it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> next. <laughs> and next up in here, we actually have footage of Cairo helping us organize the studio. Cairo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at him. This is like, yo, oh, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> Can you Stop. believe Funky Field Tips hired me? <laughs> 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 oh! oh. Bam. Oh! Uh, what the <laughs> fuck? Oh. Whoa. Hey, that fool for sure died, huh? No. But he got oh, fired. Dude, look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh. B, he oh, breathed all, all the way down. Yeah. B, he died. Domino effect. Whoa. Oh, he wish he died because he he's <laughs> oh lost my his God. job. Dude, the whole. He fucked up everything, son. Whoa. That dude, yeah, you know, he, he oh probably wishes he died. No, he died, dude. <laughs> yeah, but I'm Shelves is made still right. Shit, oh, right there. He <laughs> right, there. right there. He died right there. That shit all collapsed on him, dude. Damn. There goes all the funkies. Like, that was all of all the funkies. <laughs> Is there a PS5 in there? We took an L this year. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cairo. R.I.P. Cairo. <laughs> Way to go, Cairo. I mean, yeah, if you didn't lose your life, you definitely lost your job. <laughs> no doubt about that. Out of here. Well, that's Man. fucked up, surviving that and then still getting fired. Hey, imagine They we- have to. I mean, of course, but like... I mean, how much <laughs> money do you think that company lost with that right <laughs> here? What was that, that's though? A, that's like at least a, a like, oh, man, who knows? There might have been some really important shit in there. Or, or Well, that know. was all product. Oh, shit. And it got destroyed. Oh, uh, like probably a, at least... Uh, like and then the cleanup, dollars. dude. The cleanup shit's got to be the worst. Oh, bro. yeah, you're getting Ooh, fired. Who's going to organize that? All that broken That's like if we shit. made like the biggest mess and then for two days for the cleaning mm-hmm. to show up. Dude, <laughs> look at that. Oh, you got to pick all that up? And that that part over there was just, you know, what is that? <laughs> Insult to injury? <laughs> I think it's like, oh, when it just... Damn. Yeah, Homeboy, yeah. like... Damn, what a, Kaira. He fucked up. What a gentle ecosystem. You completely place. fucked up. <laughs> the ecosystem is not at its strength. Oh, my. R.I.P. God. Look at that, oh, dude. Oh, my. Fuck. It was like a demolition happened. Oh, because he bumped into one. What is all that shit? It I think it's like, the Amazon like Fulfillment a- Center. No. Oh, look at that band. Dominoes. It looks like cocaine's. <laughs> it's like a cocaine's workshop. Yeah, it's all or, fucking or, or, keys. <laughs> Imagine if that was all keys, bro. Oh, Whoa. he's dead for sure. Dude, <laughs> and he's high as hell. The Costco warehouse? Yeah, he's out of here, son. Dude, he is probably died. If that was all keys and it fell on him, he'd die from an OD. That's Kirk. That's fucking Kirk in <laughs> no. the warehouse. He just, wow, this is a whole key. No, they pulled his ass out and executed him if that was the case. <laughs> shit. Right. Oh, shit. We are going to save him to execute him. Yes. <laughs> Motherfucker. Bring him to life so we can kill him. 
next. And next up in here, we got Megan saying half a pizza from Boshi's Pizza in Ooh. Buffalo, New York. <laughs> okay. Uh, Looks delish. That is F full of pepperonis, baby. Pepperoni. Uh, I'll tell you what. Prime Pizza got mentioned on the news um, the other day that the spot we fucks with because of the Super Bowl, like they were getting like crazy amounts of orders. Like they, you had to fucking be on this long ass list to Probably, get something. Yeah. Pre-order. Yeah, these motherfuckers have some of the best pizza out here, Cap. Mm-hmm. Down yeah, here, yeah. downtown, yeah, uh, Prime, Prime Pizza. It's crazy. Got to check them out. Oh, yeah. I love pizza. It's different. It's it's, it's very different. The I thin know. crust is fucking everything, That's too. Sure. Uh, yeah. I, need, I don't even want to talk I about need, it. I need a jalapeno with the pepperoni. That's my go-to. Oh, oh they fucks with that, too, yep. trust. They, they do a yeah. good spicy pepperoni pizza, right? Yeah. Like if you well you've yep. had it, their, their spicy pepperoni pizza is fucking yes, and it doesn't, and that's without the jalapenos. You know what I'm saying? Right, well, you right. could add them on okay. too, but like it's those that shit is fire. Hey, let me ask you a question: Do pineapples belong on a pizza? I don't feel that they do. No, nope. I think they do. Yes, <laughs> in my opinion, not like it depends on the pizza. With pepperonis, not so much. If it's like the Canadian bacon, like with right. the ham and. And that shit, because ham and, and, and pineapple go together, that's for sure. Yeah. On a pizza, that's <laughs> the <laughs> only way it works. Man. I don't necessarily, that's not my go-to pizza. Like, if I see that, that's the last one I'm going to fuck with. Yo, man. But, I, you know, I don't hate it, but it's best. just different. <laughs> it's not the best. best. No, It is the best. Oh, no, for you, it's the best. Yeah, for me. For you. I, I love it. That means for you. Yeah, for me. For me, it's not. See, that's cool. <laughs> Spicy pepperoni, Doc. <laughs> that's amazing, too. Now, I'm, I'm a fan of, of pineapple and pepperoni together, and even the pineapple ham. I mean, some shit, you know, it just depends on the palate. True that. You know, everybody's got a different, you know, flavor palate, kind of. So, yeah. you know, what appeals to one might not another doesn't mean it's wrong. True that. I think the strong is also a fan as well. Of course. The king, the king of snacks. Yeah. He'll be in house tomorrow, y'all. The strong one, Steph Tone. Yeah. All right, next. And we got Metal Chicks Rule, a.k.a. Robert and Julie, saying thank you for the amazing green vinyl. The Boom. two funky tips included. And thank you for the box as well. That's dope. Right on. Glad you got that. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. Um, we got some new boxes we're about to put together with some different shit in them um, that you will enjoy, but... We're glad we got these got to you right here. And Julie's saying I plans to make a charcuterie board for you guys soon. Oh, Fuck right yeah. On. Charcuterie board. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right. All right. For those of y'all wondering what the fuck is a charcuterie <laughs> board, um, it's cheeses oh, and yeah. fruits. I was wondering. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, you know, like, I don't know if you ever seen this backstage at, at, certain shows but like you uh, know in, in, in like when they put your rider out right sometimes put they'll put it yeah they'll stuff. put the cheese board out mm. with little grapes and different little right. shit around it sometimes with meats yeah. that's right. considered a the charcuterie board little too there, there you go boom there Damn, it goes right there a traditional yeah. charcuterie board Eric Bobo, the Nighthawk, the the icon, he loves charcuterie boards. Shit is good, dude. I like that shit. Nah, that shit I, I like it too. Hell. I fucks with it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not my go to go to, but if I see one, I'm not gonna ignore it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, what I'm, I'm gonna going embrace now. it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. And next up in here, we got Miss Angelique saying shout out to the staff at the Green Bar Whiskey Green Barn Whiskey Kitchen. Dinner okay. was good. That Ooh, looks delicious. Damn, that looks delicious. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, any but pa- yeah, that potato. Oh, what? Damn. damn is that a twice <laughs> baker right there? It looks like with the bacon in it and the <laughs> cheese Shit. and the sour cream. Yep, Let's that's try. a twice baked potato Ooh. right there. My. What's mm-hmm. that on the side? Is some chicken? That's yep. Yeah. Chicken. With some gravy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, y'all are making me hungry. That's yeah. fucked up, man. I'm like down. Too. Ooh. Okay. What the fuck? That's pretty amazing. That's not playing right there. No. No game. Yeah. Yes, please. You throwing this at stoners, it's like, you know, torture. <laughs> and Miss Angelique said she made some chocolates. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I see it. What, what up, homie? Look what at a, that. What a jerk. 
it is. That looks absolutely delicious. Amazing. The almonds on the dip, fucking strawberry up there on the left. Mm. Damn. That's fucking pretty good. Hell yeah. Miss Angelique. I'll go for the M&M ones. Fuck it. I fucks with all of them. I'm just yeah. saying. All day. Yeah. Hell yeah. I got to think mm. about it. <laughs> that, yeah, there's just so much to fucking process right there. You're like, yeah, fuck, which sure. one would I fucking go first with? All of them. Yeah, well, you can't put all of them in your mouth at once. It's true, one by one, though. It's like, watch me. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, you don't want, I mean, me personally, I don't. You know, M and M's is. I don't want to be crunching on M and M's and shit, trying to eat a cake and shit. <laughs> like, you know, it's like. <laughs> but you never know till you try it. That's true. It could be Adventure Time. It could food. be fucking awesome. Yeah, my dude, relax. Facts, <laughs> B. <laughs> <laughs> fucking M and M's, bro. All right. They're just M and M's. Have they been through enough this year? <laughs> <laughs> Cut us some slack, Les. Hey, man, leave the M&M's alone, dog. <laughs> Next. And that seems to be it for submissions. Oh, shit. All right. Thank you very much for the submissions. Keep them coming to be real TV contest at gmail.com. We appreciate you uh, and your creativity, all right? So um, keep them rolling. Salute to everybody. If you're just joining us, this is Dr. Green Thumb Podcast. Our special guest, Cap G, is in the house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh, along with the legend, Psycho Leezy, Psycho oh, Les. Salute, salute, salute. C minus E zone. And myself, Be Real, a.k.a. Dr. Green Thumb. Smash that like if you haven't. Uh, we encourage you to do so. And also subscribe if you haven't. Yes. All right. Join us. Join us. Subscribe. Uh, we're about to open up the doors to the Insane Asylum. That means, uh, y'all, we're going to um, open it up and uh, you can leave a comment. Uh, give a shout out. Ask a question. What have you. All right. Via Super Chat. We invite you to do so now. And uh, we appreciate y'all too, so let's go. Oh, come on in. Let's, let's do, do this. this. We got T. Perez saying, Cairo, stop trespassing, stay out of E Zone's office. That's right, dude. Stay out of wow. his office, dog. You heard him, dude. Even the fans don't want you up there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's ice cold. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and we got DJ Paz up in here saying, Cap G, what's up, Holmes? Good to see you on the show. Yes, sir. I'm out here, man. What's up? What's going on? And we got Fernando up in here saying, I called in for overtime, so this show will definitely come in clutch. Word up. We're, we're glad to be here for you, Mike. And we got Sven up in here. Thank you so much to Sven for the super chat. Thank you. Thanks, Sven. Sven. Word. Word. And yeah. you got Stupid Ba-ba-ba. Almanac up in here saying, B, you look like you work in the training staff for the Kansas City Chiefs. That's right. <laughs> I want 100 push-ups right now, goddammit. <laughs> Followed by 150 sit-ups <laughs> and 350 squats. <laughs> now! <laughs> Coach real. Assertive. If I had my whistle, damn. Tell him, telling you, you'd be hearing it right now. That'd be horrible. We gotta fix this box. Yep. It's the box. Ah oh, yeah. Next. And we oh, got yeah. Kevin Bennett up in here saying drug laws are not based on science or health. Cops are not doctors. Yes, you're absolutely right. Correct. And we got Colton Last up in here saying, I drank some whiskey for the first time last night. Felt like I could fight like Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah. What kind yeah, of yeah whiskey, there you uh, go. Man, it depends what kind you drink. Yeah. Whew. That's what I'm saying. That liquid courage, man. Oof. That cheapo. It'll make you tell the truth on yourself, mm. and it'll give you abilities because you're not really thinking about You're tapped into something different there. Nah, but yeah. Hennessy was made to fight. <laughs> Jack Daniels also. Yeah, it was made. I would imagine to make people fight. Asi- never... Aside from chicks, Dan Jack Daniels and Hennessy caused a lot of fights in clubs. Yeah. And babies. Because motherfuckers had oh. too much of it. You make some angry ass babies. Angry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Come out I'll buy that. that. Crying. Problem I'll... childs. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'll buy that. 
give birth to a few Richard Ramirez's, bro. Then oh you. my God! Damn, <laughs> off that Henny. God damn. <laughs> next Stay off Henny. <laughs> yes. The, next. <laughs> and next Stay up in here, Henny. we got Hebe GB saying the movie Dope is so underrated. If you haven't seen it, don't sleep. Yes, uh, dope. Go watch that shit. If you ain't seen it, go cop that. Don't bootleg it now. Yeah, no, no bootleg. <laughs> no boot flag. That shit makes right. selling drugs so easy. Nah, for real. In that fucking movie, I've seen that shit. I was like, damn, what the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking crazy. It's a good movie, though. And we got the smoke train up in here saying, everyone ah. stay on that smoke train. Yeah. That's right, God GF. damn it. GF in the fucking building. Yeah. GF. I told him, GF. We told him. And we got Red Skywalker up in here saying, ATL is my home. That's yes, where sir. I saw Cypress Hill back around 90-something at a pot festival. Outdoors, I think I saw Muggs give his turntables to an up-and-coming artist. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yep. Damn, that's crazy. Every now and then, he would do some crazy shit like that. That's cool, man. It's dope as fuck right there. That's why he's the dope black shit. goat. And we got Twackalack up in here saying, what's twackin', fam? Just sending positive vibes and one love. One love, my. One love. One love. One love. You're lucky just to have. Just one love. love. Yeah. Damn, we completed the cypher. Dude, <laughs> shit I do. Like, all right, I feel that. That was good. And we got Sandy up in here saying, everyone always has that one primo, always fighting at the bar and getting everyone 86. <laughs> That's real shit. Or brother. Yeah. Or sister. Sisters are the cause of a lot of fights. <laughs> yeah. Good old. I mean, like, when, when you got a younger sister who's got, like, five, six brothers and knows, like, she got them, oh, yeah, she will be the cause of many fights. Yeah. Yeah. If you have the instigator sister, if you got the cool sister, not so much. Yeah. But if you got the instigator sister, yeah. And if she look good. Oh, that too. Yeah. In trouble. <laughs> she'll, wave, she'll wave it like currency. <laughs> and if yeah. she's both, mm. <laughs> fights. We're going to have like that. Well, who's that, Bud Bundy sister? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fights all day. Yeah, bro. They were just <laughs> like, bro, no wonder fucking Al just. He just wanted to watch TV, dude. Yeah, he was over over it. Yeah, he's just like, dude, just, yeah, just shut the shit up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'd given up. Next. And next we got Wasky Wabbit saying, yo, B, the Winchester house has 160 rooms. 160 fucking rooms. I mean, Damn. can you even go to all of them in one day? I mean, It would take you some time. How do you no, they're not all house? full rooms, though. Say what? I said, how, how do you clean this house? <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't. Or if they do, they have like a full staff that everybody's got each other's back because they're scared as fuck to, yeah, to go yeah. in every room Who the in fuck there. Gonna clean it? <clears throat> they got the sections. They probably hire a company to come fucking dust shit off and clean it up, maintain it. And if they're not, like Ezone says, they're not full rooms, then it's probably yeah. like going in and like. Yeah, like some of the rooms might be like this, and then some rooms might be like half of, you know, like the class. office up there. Yeah, but it all leads. It's crazy. It has staircases everywhere. This gets the staircase to nowhere. Nowhere. You know what I'm saying? It's like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> Next. And we got Angel up in here saying, Cap, what's your favorite Southern comfort food? Mm, my favorite. Shit. Mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. Ooh. Yes, sir. That shit is good. People been getting creative with mac and cheese too lately. Yeah. Like different yeah. versions of it. That's always awesome to see. Yeah. Hell yeah. They mix all the cheeses. Then you oh, get Bart's got the ill mac and cheese all the yeah. time. Yeah. I like he because he smokes it. Smokes the What would be a hybrid for you to use mac and cheese with? I like... Some you'd fucking do a mashup with. Oh, I mean, what I used to have, I used to have, there was a spot called the Grilled uh, the grilled Cheese Truck, and they used to do this grilled cheese, but instead of the, they would they would have the mac and cheese as the cheese. Mm -hmm. So you would eat the oh, grilled I know that cheese spot. of yeah. mac and cheese. Yeah. That's good. I don't that think they're was around like, no more. Yeah, they're not, man. Yeah, I had a, a homegirl that worked there. I, I used mean, to 
basically the tots too, the big yeah. old bag of tots. It would too. be mac and cheese in the actual grilled cheese. And, and yeah. what would be yours? Um, I I honestly like it when when they have the the main lobster in oh, the mac and be. cheese. Yeah, I like that shit. Cheese. Like when it's like lobster in the mac and cheese, yeah. Yeah. not too much fucking cheese, but just enough of the blend. Right. And then you know for it enough to keep me thirsty, so I keep drinking my beer. <laughs> what yeah. about you, Cap? <laughs> Shit, I say the same shit. I'm finna just that you fuck with uh, Micheladas. Yeah, not like you can only have so much, so many of them, but that shit gets yeah. bloated. Had too much. I you fuck can... with Micheladas though. I I be like, get my shit extra spicy. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Les? What with the the hybrid mac and cheese? With like, what would you do? I How like you... I like the the fried the fried mac and cheese balls. Oh right, oh, yeah. those are dope. Yeah. Sometimes those are a miss, though, bro. I'll, I'll tell you what. <clears throat> Sometimes they are. Yeah. You're right. It depends how they make it. Yeah. But if you get the right I ones, those shits this. are everything. Hey, Amen. Okay, so my my hybrid would be like Bart's chili, the chili Bart's mm-hmm. barbecue mix, mm. and mac and cheese together. Together. Ooh. God damn, bro. Real. Yeah. It's a lot of carbs. <laughs> and a lot of and a, and a lot of heat, but of heat, it would be delicious. Might, you might, I, you know, I'm do it. I would have to run ten miles the next day as opposed uh-huh. to my fucking five for two days straight. Um, for two days straight <laughs> to get that shit like need a bottle off. of Tums, dude. Just thinking about that shit. <laughs> oh, nah, for real. I don't need that. Oh, you know what? That does it doesn't get me that way. I've had ch- gr- uh, mac and cheese with grilled chicken in it, and that's delicious too. Yeah, yeah, that's good too. Yeah. I ain't never had it. That's crazy. I no, I, sometimes you get it with the breaded chicken with like the bread, lightly fried like bread, breaded chicken in there. Ooh. You know it'd be the shit to put it on a fucking burger. Like, you know, that you're going to put cheese oh, yeah, on the burger. You fucking yeah. put not only the cheese, but the mac and the cheese mac. on the burger and, and do a smash burger style. They be doing that with the Chick Fil A with the chicken sandwich. They put they get the mac and cheese from Chick Fil A. Put that shit on top. Yeah. Buffalo sauce. Yeah, should be looking good on TikTok. Yeah, everything is fucking great on there, bro. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. More food. Look, oh. boom, there it is. Oh, yeah. oh, come on, double man. stack. Yeah, come on, double stack. Uh, come on, Colton, that's double enough, stack. dude. Challenge accepted. Double stack. I would take the single stack, but that's a double right there. Cut me a slice. That's too much. Yeah. What good. if they said finish Sheesh. it? No, nah, I have to be like, yo. If what do I before. get if I finish it besides <laughs> fucking, you know, like a bitch ass t-shirt? Court, <laughs> fucking <laughs> bitch ass t-shirt. Yeah. Right. Aside from medical <laughs> problems. <laughs> Next. Your fucking Man, cholesterol goes through the yeah, roof. Yeah, but aside from <laughs> fucking high cholesterol, what happens after that? He's got to eat finish. Cheerios for like a month. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm shit. I got to have a steady diet of salads for the next two months. You get oh. your picture on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, this person could fucking eat. <laughs> this person could eat this burger. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, you 20 might, seconds. I might want to go halves with someone on that one. That in well, we give it to you for free, and we put your uh, picture on the wall. Fuck <laughs> off. Nope. Don't put my picture on the wall for this shit. <laughs> Check oh, out no. this fat ass. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Look at this <laughs> guy over here. Next. <laughs> And we got DJ Ballistic up in here asking, is there any chance a ticker can be added for the Psych Award? Or is that just safe for the Insane Asylum? Salute. We can add it. We'll add it. Tomorrow. <laughs> Cairo. You heard add it. Tomorrow. When do y'all add it? Ain't gonna be me, but, you know, one of yeah. these guys will add it. For true. For real. And we got Betty Page up in here sending us some love again. It's all love right back at you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Betty. Yes, thank you. Betty Boo. <laughs> and we got little Snoop up in here saying, I'm burnt to fuck is the best way to eat a steak. Burnt to fuck. Burnt as fuck. Ooh. Burnt as fuck. <laughs> you said burnt yeah. to fuck. <laughs> burnt to fuck. Well, that was probably a typo. mistake on the typo, Colton. <laughs> Maybe that means like super well done. Yeah. Burnt as fuck would indicate. Yeah. Super Old well to done. fuck, charred maybe. Man, I, I don't like it. Too, <laughs> burnt too to burnt. fuck. Oh, burnt to fuck. Yeah, I want it burnt to fuck. Yeah, burnt the fuck. Burnt no, burnt, fuck. burnt to burnt fuck. fuck. Like yeah. burnt to. Yeah, like I want this shit burnt. Like mm-hmm. had to be a type of burnt this fuck. Yeah. yeah, burnt this fuck. That is good. I mean, you See, don't like want you know he's telling us how he likes his steak, and the idea just popped right there. Look, some people like it bloody, like. <laughs> 
I can yeah. handle it like, like that. Like a vampire just bloody. No, nah, I don't like that shit. I like it medium <clears throat> rare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I'm medium well. When I was in Vegas, every medium. guy that I saw with a hooker at the steakhouse liked the bloody. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, those are the medium rares. <laughs> I, I was those like, are the Bolton's that's uncles. Those are all the Bolton's Bolton, roaming around. Bolton's uncles. <laughs> bloody balls. I've had, like, seared beef. Like, like those little, like, you know, when you go to... Uh, yeah, but those are... Thin slice. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Shit cooks Those are like bro. a big ass chunk. Here, let me yeah, fucking stir like, this. Now like, try chewing this fucking this okay. piece of leather for a minute. <laughs> There's no way I'd want to eat a bloody if it's still bleeding on the plate. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. says move. Eat this boot. Yeah. <laughs> Get this bloody. Next. And we got Wasky Wabbit in here saying, "Yo, Cap, do you ever do dabs? I if did. so, you should do a flip. Nah, uh, for sure. I did one with uh, Wiz a long time ago. 2013, and I ain't did one since. Oh, yeah, he be flipping them. Yeah. Yeah. My boy Wiz be on. He the one put me on, Dad, before I seen that shit. But yeah. Wiz. Oh, yeah, he's. Smoker. He's That's st- the first person I got high with, too, by the way. Damn, that's oh, tight. Right on. He's yeah. steady flipping. Yep. He sent us over his stunned in glass. That's why we got two of them on the table, our green thumb stunned in, which is close to you, and then his, you know, his oh, yeah, Taylor yeah. gang joint right here. Uh, yeah. Nice. And you know we be flipping it. I see. We be flipping. I would flip a few today, but like, man, that smoke box was something else. <laughs> yeah. <That shit> was... <laughs> Yo, you know what? It, I, I was looking at this joint. Like, you know, when you have some food and you're like, you're kind of like, man, I don't, like I should really stop. Yeah. But <laughs> but you're like, oh, the joint is here. Smoke it. Amen. Yeah, like when you've you've eaten enough, but you still got shit right there, and you're like. I just like the way it tastes. Hold up. Oh. That's how the smoking is, right? Yeah. It's like you you are way beyond high. Hi- like- higher than you need to be. And you know, we just keep going. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I like I like to get high sometimes just to build a, a nice appetite. And then when I go eat dinner, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna tear shit up. <laughs> I just feel like I'm taking vitamins all day. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, my my favorite is to smoke before making something to eat at home, and then I just fucking and after it, eating, and then yeah, after eating too. So I smoke before I eat, and then I eat, and then afterwards I have a smoke right after you eat, and that is fucking a blissful moment. Yeah, that's yep, a good, that's a good, no doubt. Next, and next up in here we got Chris D Band saying, "What's good, Cap?" Nice to see Raza with Raza on the platform. You definitely came to the right show. Come on, Colton. You know you could do better than that. All right, come on. (laughs) Say it with me. Raza. Raza. (laughs) Raza. 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 Okay, look, like, say, uh, hold up. Go, Go like, sa. Sa. Raza. Raza. Okay, you got the Raza, right? Yeah, I wrote that R. Yeah, 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 we're still working on that. Yeah, he's our in-house <laughs> white guy. <laughs> yeah. and, Rizzo, uh, we're trying to teach him Spanish, but Raza. you know, he's he's had traditionally trouble rolling the R's. <laughs> or we we're trying we we're trying to give him techniques on how to roll the R too. You know, like <laughs> stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> stop, drop, and roll. Bop, bop. Shut him down, open up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that fool probably thought he was, he was gonna say Rizzo. It's because like, you don't practice at home, man. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's like, nice of you seeing kicking it with Rizzo. <laughs> no, no, I knew, I know a Rizzo. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, <laughs> nah, you, you got to work on those R's at home, man. Yeah, man, it's okay. We're gonna give you a week to get it right. <laughs> oh damn. You know, I see go to my old bro at Islands, they're going to have some Mexican cuisine. <laughs> yeah. So you better fucking get hey, them R's right. You roll them R's, you get some tips, man. <laughs> yeah. The honey, see, you could roll those R's, Ooh. bro. Date night for Bolton. I'll be Ooh. walking with baddies in here all the time. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, first you got to learn it. how to roll the R's. Learn your doesn't R's. happen until that happens. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, step one. <laughs> <laughs> Step one. And Chris, uh, Chris D. Bands is saying, "Hey, yo, B, you had me dead with that hustle and flow quote." <laughs> you know, it's all timing. <laughs> and that seems to be it for super chats. Word up! We want to thank everybody for your super chats. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, it's been a good one. Y'all had some good ones today, and 
I can yeah. always appreciate that shit right there. Um, today we got a mix popping off on Twitch with my man Psycho Less and Cairo. So uh, everybody that wants to get down with some music, come get down with this there. B underscore real TV on Twitch. If you got an Amazon Prime account, you could rock that monthly subscription for free down there. All right. So um, join them in the mix. And uh, again... This Saturday, San Diego, 8760 Campo Road. Dr. Green Thumbs, we're going to be dropping it down there. Some Cali Blaze and other things. My man, strong, the strong one, Steph Tone, is going to be up in the house. And uh, a couple other people are going to pop by. So uh, join us from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. down there in La Mesa. All right. And um, February 26th, once again, Dr. Green Thumbs. Silmar, we're going to be popping it off over there, some flavor drops, and, uh, you know, just a celebration of the reopening of the doors of Silmar. So uh, check those in flavors, those insane flavors while you're there. C minus, you got a, you got shout outs? Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for hanging out with us here on the podcast, wherever you're tuned in from. We appreciate it. Hey, uh, great having you on, Cap G. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, E Zone B, of course, Psycho Leezy, Bolton, Ra Ra, The Dominator, uh, Dro, uh, Cairo, everyone, the Kitchen Sink crew, the 5150s, appreciate you. Uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., doing a Kitchen Sink uh, mix on Twitch. So, C Minus Fan 4 on all the social medias and DJCMinus.com. Go check it out, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Word less. Yo, yo. Shout out everybody watching. Shout out the fam in the crib. Uh, follow me on the IG, psycholess.official. And also go check out the website, thepsycholessshop.com. Uh, that's it. Be able to catch me on the mix after this. Squeeze balls. One love. Word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Big cap. Bolted. Already, man, shout out the fans, shout out the family back home, uh, Atlanta in the building, shout out the whole California, man, let's get it, shout out the Ben Had those, Cafe La Familia, let's get it, new music dropping soon, man, yeah. Work. Bolt. Shout out to the Insane Asylum, thank you guys so much, shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films, shout out to the Dominator, and also today's uh, Tincture and Topical Thursday at Dr. Green Thumbs, 15% off Tinctures and Topicals, and also don't forget to pre-order Dr. Green Thumb Funko. That's Walmart.com. Right. So I'm check have, it out. I'm going to have him on deck, bro. Word. Hell yes. Ease on. Yeah. Uh, what's up? Look at me. I said I wasn't going to smoke it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, salute to everybody who stays buying stuff on the website, uh, my eBay store, and my actual store, flavorsbyezone.com, highhungry.shop. There's three new candles that went under uh, renovation. So there's going to be some new designs, more theme-like designs. So make sure you guys check those out and look out for them. There's new stuff that got added on there yesterday. And speaking of the strong one, Steph Tone will be on my show tonight on the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. He will be joining us as a guest. So, we're, I mean, I got two flat earthers versus me. You know, every, wow. time, every time they gang up on me, bro, it's just, just tune in. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah, they, they really try to convince me. <laughs> wow. Oh, no. Word up. Uh, <laughs> salute to all y'all that are fucking with us on the daily and um, also that have just joined us today. All right. We appreciate you. We appreciate the love and support and uh, your input and uh, engagement in what we do here. It's a fucking awesome um, salute to the squad. And, um, you know, make sure you uh, fuck with that top shelf when you get to the Dr. Green Thumb dispensaries and look for these insane flavors right here. OG Christmas lights, ice cream cake, maraschino, honey moon, ruby red, Mac 11, mamba juice, godfather, Hindu funk, great bonsai, Bermuda, 41 mint, zoology, Julia, OMG, Cali nights, cherry bomb, Holland space cake, Cali lights, rainbow mint, showbiz, Kushido, Insane, um, beam me up, Scotty. Those are just to name a few. There's also the stuff French toast that you don't see here, Alien Brain, and others. Um, we got a whole lot more flavors gonna drop soon. Make sure you experience these when you're in California at the Dr. Green Thumb Dispensaries herein. All right, um, stay with love, love is the key. Don't be fucking with no boof and negativity. I right.
fuck with the mix right after this. Peace. Get